on some of the more broken down areas and whatnot. There's definitely some work being done currently. Uh, there's a lot of little little robots, little little robots uh, wandering around. These little clockwork uh, robots a uh, a little that are friend. yeah, little friends. There's some like some stout ones that are kind of like pudgy, uh, and there's some like tall spindly ones, but they're all pretty short. They're all like two feet tall, or is it one foot tall? He's one foot tall. Uh, and so they're working on like some like some log like they're cutting down some logs and they're laying down some planks and stuff like that. Uh, and you can hear like some like trees being felled in like the distance and whatnot. Um, and there's like a couple little like there's a couple little sand trues, uh if you know what Pokemon sand trues look like. Uh, they're little like uh, let me put a little I'll put a picture in Discord here real quick. Uh, well, well not Jesus, everybody. Toto, I guess we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, copy. Um, image. Question, not, not everybody here is a Pokemon fanatic, so you know. Question, uh, question for the DM. Yes. Um, we need to know: Is Weaver with us or not? Ah, uh, right. Yes, Weaver is here. Weaver is present. Also, do your roll before I forget. Uh, okay. Nomad, do your do your roll that was you do uh, yep. for the day before, since we have to do that. Okay. Cool. All you got a nineteen. 19. All right. What is this for? I don't remember anymore. What, yeah. Wait. <laughs> what what are we rolling? Bang. Who's bang? Okay. okay. You so, have stats on that then? You don't need a ruling on that, correct? I don't need what? A ruling on that, correct? No, that's right. I don't need a ruling. Okay. I'm fine. Sorry. We can okay. discuss it later if you want. Yeah, yeah. I want to um, make sure we got the roll, the roll done. Okay. Yeah, that's that's just for his artificer crap. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Hey. Uh, so, uh, Lilith, you're the only one conscious currently on your boat. <laughs> um. And so you're coming up to this island, and you see a small no man, a larger, stockier, uh, robot-looking warforged, a human monk with fairly flowing kind of plain clothes, and but a kind of a creepy mask on, uh, <laughs> and a kind of pirate swashbuckler-looking <laughs> goblin. Uh, Oh, also, I, I just remembered for point point of order, his the, his pistol is still in the boat, so just a heads up for that. Huh. All right, so oh, what do and do? just just to add to that, um, yeah, um, the gnome is jumping up and down because it's okay. hard for hard for him to see. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he's really. Are you like excitedly hopping up and down? Like are you happy to see people, or are you just like you just like to hop? He's got short, he's got short stubby little legs. It's not like it'll help anyways. <laughs> I mean, this is a dock. Like you don't need it's to be single visitor. file. It, it's visitors. It's visitors. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh boy! Oh boy! He's clapping his hands. <laughs> okay. So your nomad's happy to see the rowboat for some reason. Uh, <laughs> it's that that futuristic that, that future divination magic coming into play apparently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so what are y'all what are y'all doing? Oh, and see, and Ooh, Weaver is waving excitedly and somewhat dumb looking. Well, okay, <laughs> <laughs> our party is not particularly smart. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, uh, Nomad is trying to climb up on Weaver. Okay, to be able to see better. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, you're gonna just full on just like rocket and Groot this thing, just like. <laughs> Come on, Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, anyways. Oh, I. Got it. Yeah, rocket and group. Come on. There you, you, go. you don't have a giant gun yet. <laughs> you are Weaver an artificer. Weaver to, yeah, Weaver takes no notice that you're even on his shoulder, but you're, you're <laughs> up there. Whoops. Okay. You're so small. <laughs> hey. Uh, all right. So yeah, what are y'all doing? It's them where the nearest pub is. After the nearest pub is. <laughs> Excuse me. You have any grog? <laughs> okay. So as uh, the boat okay. is the boat in yet? I mean, uh. I mean, you, Elizabeth, you tell me. Are you are you shouting this, or are you are you just gonna let's roll up to the actual dock first? Or we're just gonna roll in without. I'm not gonna say anything, but okay. I do need to get some. I do need to get some type of herb for the unconscious pirate in my boat. Or he will die. <laughs> I found this man. <laughs> I kind of want to keep him. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna you're asking for. I'm uh, thinking I want to try to get him off of my hands, but I also don't want to just abandon him. So yeah, I'm I'm looking for some. Are you talking to us? 
Yeah, yeah. So yeah, what do you what are you tell what are you telling them? You go ahead and talk to us if you want. Looking for a bit of assistance for this unconscious pirate in my boat. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we had an accent happening here. There we go. All right. <laughs> Uh, what, kind of, what, kind of, what kind of assistance are you looking for? Well, he's bleeding from his throat, so I need some... Uh, uh, some type of herbal leaves. <laughs> <laughs> you can just be like, help! <laughs> Wait a minute, I can't tell if you're Scottish or Irish. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, it doesn't I'm matter. Kind of like, okay. It, neither one exists, right, so it's okay. Right, right, right. See, anyway. In, in this I'm universe, unconscious, they, they, I should they, shut they, up. They, yeah. they get smashed into one, into one country. Um, <laughs> it's called Erskets. <laughs> hey, He's from <laughs> I'm, I'm unconscious, I shouldn't I'm be talking. Right, yeah. you shouldn't be, I'm trying to save your life. No, so so yeah. Keegan, Keegan lifted his, his head up, said that, and then he dropped back down again. <laughs> It's really mostly dead. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, Weaver's the 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 medic here. So uh, he's gonna go ahead and hold on. Weaver. Yes. Well, we, uh, I, yeah. He's gonna. Yeah. He's gonna assist. Uh, I would like. I would like to mention that there were some herbs or something growing. That there was a garden with some stuff in it. Some herbs. So maybe there's true. something there. All right. Yeah. So uh, Weaver is gonna go ahead and uh, take. He can just just full bodily just pick up. Uh, Keegan, no problem, because he's a Warforged. Uh, he's going to just lift him out of the boat, and he's going to take him up uh, to one of like the little structures that's, that's been built. Uh, and he's going to get some herbs, and he's going to work some healing magic and, and work on... Go work on him, basically, uh, for a little while. Um, so, uh, Matt, you're going to be unconscious for a little while. <laughs> oh, okay. Just continue, sorry. <laughs> Look at the D&D, you're unconscious! <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, Weaver has left uh, the dock uh, with Keegan in, in hand. Um, does this man have a beard? Do you have a beard, Keegan? I mean, I have like a goatee. It's a goatee. Okay. Oh, Did dear. you want us to describe ourselves and stuff, or how do you? Yeah. Do go ahead and do that now. I guess uh, I, I gave a brief thing, but you can give like a more detail. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, you're the one with that funky Photoshop you made of me. I think that will describe me better than I could. Well, I mean, we haven't settled on a thing, like, a, like an actual graphic, so you can just say whatever you want, and it'll be true. Pepsi Man, <laughs> but uh, with medieval clothes. You're what? I've got, a, <laughs> I've, I've got a picture of my face. Yeah, 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 that's true. Uh oh There we go. Yeah, so Keegan's basically like you're pretty like. Oh yeah, we made those. Tri like, like typical looking pirate, nice. uh, full eye patch and got like the bandana and all that stuff going on. Uh, got some piercings, man. That's gnarly. Nice. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm gonna go look for that folder because I know I have mine with that stuff in it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What uh, month, Keegan? What month is May in? Or what number? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what month? <is> <laughs> what? May it's is, oddly uh, in January, and we're not sure why. <laughs> January, February, March, April, May. There we go. It's five. It moves around. It moves around. It does. It just depends on the year, is man. Is it like. leap year or not? It depends on May's <laughs> mood. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, also, there's a... Uh, oh, man. I'm, I, I think get the pronunciation oh, around this. It's Almirage. Almirage. Yes, Almirage. Yeah, there's an that. Almirage... Um, uh, uh, next to the gnome as well, which is a bunny rabbit with a unicorn horn. <laughs> You're aware as well. Uh, who be loose? Oh, you lost. Wait, who be loose? Who be loose? Somebody? Elizabeth. Hmm? Oh, ah. she's back. Oh, she's back. All right, I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, I'd be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I I do that all the yeah. time. That's okay. Fair. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So it describe. sounds like a jackalope, a bunny with with uh, with ant antlers. That's kind of a jackalope. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's a single unicorn in the middle of its head. So it's you it's a jackalope with with one horn. Yeah. You have a picture. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a picture. I but we haven't, uh, used, we, we haven't used him that much. So no, no, he's very cute. He's Rabbit very cute. Horn. And I've named him Rabbit Flopsy. Horn, yeah. His yeah. Name I forgot Flopsy. that I posed my character with a bunch of guns at one point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, my. My Finnegan folder's in a different 
in a different, different castle. Uh, so, yeah. All right, I just, sent, I just sent a picture of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my gnome pick. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh -huh. so, and so, here's so this I'm, for comedic effect. Uh, if it'll post. So, yeah. I, so I'm a gnome, and I like to smoke a pipe once in a while. I have a very tall hat, and um, um, I am nearly four <laughs> feet, nearly four feet tall. <clears throat> it's actually three feet. No. <laughs> I'm nearly four feet tall, and and uh, I try to talk with an accent, but it usually I do it wrong. And <laughs> <laughs> I know lots of different languages. And I, my, let's see, I have a little bit of a glimmer in my eye because I like to have fun. Also the math. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say what was in that pipe. Right. Indeed. All right. Uh, yeah. So Finnegan, describe your, like yourself, if you're mostly pipe, your, your mask is the most distinctive feature because you're wearing basically just like peasant clothes, essentially. Yeah, a, uh, a long sleeve blue shirt, black gloves, uh, here, let me just repost this picture from earlier. Imagine, the, imagine the color scheme of the man <laughs> on the right attached to the figure above. Yeah. yeah. Except, <laughs> except there's, there's also like a big purple jewel on the forehead of the mask, which I did yeah, not. Yeah, he has like, uh, it's like a we're doing like, like a luchador mask, right? That's what we're doing. Vaguely. It, it, okay, yeah, like, like luchador mask. So it's, <clears throat> it's it's not like a like a hard mask, it's like a soft mask. Like yeah, a, it, it, it is, a, it is face, a cloth right? mask, but covers the whole right. head and neck. Even. Right. Yeah. Can so then it has a, a large jewel on the top. Yeah. Kind of like a burglar would wear. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, that's a different thing. That's a balaclava. That's fun to say. Uh, yeah, and uh, Weaver is a large robot man. <laughs> that's delicious. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, and then you got Marcus, who's just kind of chilling. Uh, Marcus has his foot back, by the way, and that's from that picture. You can get back his other foot. He doesn't have a peg anymore because you repaired his foot. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Well, that was... that was Yeah, no, look, it's an old he, picture. That's what a Warforged basically looks like. Yeah. Matt's familiar. He, he plays a Warforged in another campaign. I, I play a Warforged in another campaign, so I'm very familiar with a Warforged. <laughs> like. Aren't you special? I a am, thank you. A, a, a Warforged <laughs> cleric, actually, which is funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, and then Lilith... Um, yes, we I know have nothing about Lilith. Yeah, describe yourself, and I'll find your picture real quick while I'm doing so, or while you're doing oh. so. So Lilith is a an elven druid with a con oh in in conflict um, between and 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 others, but also wanting to kind of not hate them. Um, on a slave go. import for all of her life and so this is her first taste of freedom um, but she has a handling skills so she cares about wildlife probably more than pe like mankind and other creatures yeah you're you're a druid so you like the people you like the, the animals and the plants not the people so much <laughs> mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. Trevor, where'd you get that picture? I haven't seen that one before. Uh, well, I. When did you make that one up? Uh, yesterday. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it. I. I just did some tweaking to it. I didn't actually like full create it from scratch or anything. Well, uh, for, or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I. I just did some skin tone and hair color, basically. Yeah. No. Uh, eventually, I got to work on uh everybody's. But yeah, <laughs> it's work in progress. Always is right. Uh, but yeah, um, so um, it's it's nighttime now. Basically, it, like it's it's dark. It's like it's like seven seven thirty. Um, it's like the sun's basically gone down. You all have torches out, basically. Uh, so what are you doing? So so am I to assume that like they're just cool with uh, Lilith just hanging out, right? No, I don't we, know. We haven't been opposed <laughs> I mean, to a whole lot. I mean, she just dropped lot. off this. just dropped off yeah. this throat slit pirate. <laughs> and then, yeah, 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 yeah. And then what? <laughs> yeah. So what are you? What are you guys all doing? So, so my name is Nomad. Um, what what is yours? My name is uh, it's Lilith, and uh, 
from uh, a, f- a place not from here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what? Who is this person you brought, and and what what is going on? We were on a cruise ship, and uh... Ooh. was it three hour tour? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, there was a bit of an explosion, so I've, I've helped him, and the uh, cruise ship went down, and uh, I'm just trying to get back to my, uh, where I'm from, he's taken care of in the process. So, where are you from? Place not from here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Is that, is that, do you want DM help for that, or do you just not want to? I would love some DM help for that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, I, I gotta find your, yeah, hold on. Please hold. Uh, I'm making, I'm just wanna double check before I tell you something that's not true. That'd be bad. <laughs> huh. My scroll wheel going like at full speed. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. You're from. Uh, Farfur. So, however you want to pronounce that with your accent. Uh, Farfar. Oh. Farfar. Farfar. Something Far- like that. Farfar. Farfar. <laughs> there's, there's eight R's. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, if you look at your map, you, you scroll to the left, uh, you'll see Farfar or is oh. the big red one in the middle of the left hand continent. Oh, so, uh, so I, I, accidentally... I come from a place called Farfur. I accidentally come from a place called. Apparently, you can use Alt to go back in the web pages. <laughs> what? I was holding Alt and scrolling out to zoom out, and then it went back a page. I know. I like. Oh, Farfur. Yeah, the, it's I'm like a still, silent R. I'm still making yeah. my joke. I'm calling it Farfur away. Fa fa oh. away. There you go. So, so I'm I am from from Tovenbra, and I think that means we're neighbors. <laughs> if I can read the map right, yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's welcome, true. neighbor. Welcome to our little island. Thank you. <laughs> so you must be very tired. <clears throat> it, uh, I do need to find some food and water because I haven't had anything in three days. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, we she's, not, she's not looking so good. She looks pretty pale, though. She looks she might just always be pale. It's not entirely sure. <laughs> yeah. So let's find these this 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 woman a a, a, a some water and some uh, some food here. Um, <laughs> DM, where where do we find this stuff? <laughs> do we have well, this in your backpacks or what? Yeah, you have them in your backpacks. I mean, you just have like supplies, but I mean, you also have a camp. So like, and there's right. like people that uh, uh, the dwarves work up there. Like in like the the main encampment, so you and they have like okay. food and supplies and water and like beds and stuff. So uh, okay, so can I ha- hand her some some of my water as we as we go go walking up? Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna like do a little walk and talk, and you're yeah. gonna give yeah. her a little bit of canteen as you go, and you're headed up to the main encampment. Uh, so you're going up this big giant ramp that goes over the this this beach, uh, and it's kind of an odd thing to do to have a giant ramp over a beach because usually you just walk on the sand. Uh, so it's a little weird. So, uh, to, Lilith. <laughs> so a little a little bit of, uh, of advice, Lilith. Um, don't jump down into the sand because there's these vicious creatures that like to eat ankles. <laughs> as in, eat them completely. We've had a little some... bit of experience with them. You see some, like, sand just, like, erupt all of a sudden like, below you. <laughs> Like something like under the ground and just like digging. They're ankle biters. Yeah, yeah. Ankle eaters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. M- Marcus uh, like hob- walks over to you and like and shakes his foot and is like, "Yeah, got my entire foot. <laughs> like just ate the whole damn thing. It was crazy." <laughs> what? You had to be there. Mm-hmm. You had to what? be there. He lost his foot. He was there. this big, and like he's, he's she's small, so it doesn't look that big. I think but, he's like, lying. I think he's actually lying. He's absolutely he? lying. Well, his wingspan's also not very large, so. 
When you say this big, it's not that large. What yeah, DM? Yeah. This is not where he lost his foot. Mark just <laughs> no. lost his to a mimic. <laughs> in hell. <laughs> right. So he's uh, making it up. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> You guys, you guys are just like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Anything you say, happen. Marcus. <laughs> that didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, whereas Weaver mentioned that he was the actual one that lost his foot <laughs> to the sand shoes. <laughs> just quite impressive considering that. Uh, yeah, he's he's just like, stupid guy stole my my story. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you're not here, you lose. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's true. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys, you guys head up this ramp and you head up to the encampment. You pass by a bunch of these uh, automatons that are that are kind of closing up shop for the day because it's it's dark. Uh, Hello, and... little friends. Hello, little friends. Like, vroom, vroom. <laughs> most of them don't talk, by the way. Uh, just so you're aware, mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of like the the main two that talk because uh, right. I don't want to do voices for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you guys head up to the main encampment uh, where we were already taken uh, Keegan. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you guys have kind of, like, set up for the, the evening. Um, you doing, what are you doing? So is it nighttime? Yeah, it's dark. Yeah, it's, it's, like, you have torches you're carrying, and, like, it's, it's, like, 7.30, 8 o'clock, probably, and, uh, it actually takes a half hour to get to mainland, or the, the main oh. thing, so it's, like, 8.30. So I think Lilith is gonna go looking for a map. She's gonna definitely want to find. Looking for a map. Okay. Map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there is a a large map spread out on one of like the like the work tables that the dwarves have been using. Um, like, it's like a big world map, um, as and well as a couple other uh, don't smaller we have, maps. Don't we have a map too? Yeah, you have a map as well. Um, I, see, you... I see the map, but like the character. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So you, yeah, there's a big world map on the on the table as well as a, it's next to a bunch of like construction maps, like like blueprints and whatnot, uh, like and like a, just one of just the island, uh, as well of like what they're planning on doing basically. Uh, but yeah, so you have like the world map you can kind of see and kind of like get your bearings for where you are, because uh, you left uh, Port Adventure, that's where you set sail from uh, most recently, and you were on your way uh, to. Uh, Dadenville, uh, in Siska, to then make your way to Farfar. So that was your your plan, and so you're basically right in the middle, more or less, uh, mm -hmm. of your allotted path. Are those on the map? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm going off of the exact thing you're looking at, by the way. I don't have my own map. I, I'm, I'm using the same roll. I'm, I'm on roll twenty. Look at the map. <laughs> Daydenville is is the uh, oh, up one there. of the port cities oh, okay. of, of Fisca. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, so, so what do we? Who's there? Is are the three dwarfs there? Uh, they've, uh, well, one one of them one of them is there right now. Um, but he's kind of like bedding down for the night. Uh, and the other two are still out. It looks like they were probably coming in from further around the island somewhere, like the opposite of the island. They haven't come back yet. Uh, but one of them is bedding down for the night, like he so was doing he's some. He's awake. Yeah, he's currently awake. Uh, yeah, but he's like getting like his like his stuff together for the night. Um, so I, I'm Nomad's gonna go over and talk to him, uh, so he knows we're here. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Hello, Master Dwarf. I don't remember which one he is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't well, you, tell him apart anyway. You can't tell him apart. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'll, I'll just, I can I can have you see if you know if you want if you want. Oh sure, sure. Give me a, okay. give me a straight intelligence roll. That I want to know if you know. Okay, hold on. I if you can tell the difference between these guys, <laughs> the uh, triplets. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. Svendrick, Kendrick, and Bork. Mm-hmm. So straight intelligence to so just straight intelligence modifier. So yeah, D twenty plus intelligence modifier. Okay. Ooh. Oh, jeez, Louise. I guess so. Come on. <laughs> he, knows, right. he knows the dwarf's name better than the dwarf does. Yeah. <laughs> this is Bork. Bork. <laughs> Hello there, Master... Master. Oh, you're not a dwarf, right? <laughs> you're, you're a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right. Master Dork. Because <laughs> you said Master Dwarf, now I got it out of my head now. Uh, you know, Hello there, Ma Master... Master Gnome. Welcome back to the island. 
Well, Bork, good, to, very good to see you again. Wait, oh, um, we've already done this. You've already done this introduction. What are you talking about? I showed you around the island and you returned like hours. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. Okay, so okay, so did I. Short, short memory, you know, for a 157 year old, I'm doing pretty good. Um, so, so, um, this this is uh, Lilith over here, and she's um, she's had a very hard couple of days. And um, do we have any uh, food around or and water that we could give her? So he, you know, he's he's all like smiles and he sees you, and then he sees her, and he, and he just kind of just his face just falls, and he just like gives her like the dead eye. Uh oh. And What's he's just, he's like, well, not for her kind. <laughs> oh, not one of these. <laughs> not one of these. Oh no. <laughs> Well, do you have any for me? <laughs> for, absolutely. Yeah, he, he gives you yeah, you whatever you want, basically. What are you looking for? Well, what do you got for food? I mean, come on. Uh, he has like he has like meat and cheese and bread, like okay. basically. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, I'm just gonna gets... take it and I'm gonna kind of walk over to Lilith and kind of behind his back, kind of give her a little food. Give me a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. <laughs> <laughs> And you she'll can... take it, but she, like, won't take the meat or the cheese because she... Mm -hmm. Is she vegan? You're vegetarian. Right? I think you're cutting out. I am, or... Her. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed that, too. I think you were cutting out a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Not can good. Can you hear me now? His, his stubby yeah. little nomad <laughs> fingers. Uh, check your... Go to your, go to your little gear icon in the bottom left. Uh, okay. And then go to voice and video and then do, do that, voice activity and uh are you on automatic determination it says, uh it's not i didn't select push to talk it's unchecked yeah you want voice activity uh and then underneath that there's a little slider that says i'm not to determine input sensitivity do you have that on uh <clears> it's <throat> it is it bloop Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, one side is green, one side is yellow. No, no, no. Wait. The little, the little slider icon on the above right. Above the, okay. above the right side of it, there's a little like switch. Oh, output volume. Okay, how's what? that? Is that better? No, no, down, 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 down. Yeah. Further down. Uh, hold there on. Should be input I'm, I'm, sensitivity. You guys are so bad at explaining things. Hold on, I'm just, <laughs> I'm making a picture, okay? <laughs> oh my god. All right, I see input sensitivity. There. And there's there's there. a little no, slider no, thing that I, says honestly determined. I put a rectangle around it. You put it in, yeah, yeah. You make sure it's on, it's on. Oh, the yellow, on. the yellow rectangle. I have, I have what mine turned off because I have my mic set up. She needs no, to turn that on, I believe. Yeah, turn it on. All right, so I, wait, there's a thing, there's a bar that's like green and yellow or ignore, like. Ignore the bar and just go for the thing in the rectangle. Yeah. Turning on that will automatically adjust the bar. The thing on the right, there's a little slider or not a slider. It's a switch. It's a little toggle. Yeah. Toggle. Under input sensitivity? Yep. Look at the little oh. picture in Dungeons and Dogs. Or you can oh, just do what Verd said the, uh, and switch the, Discord. switch the bar so that most of it's green. Oh, okay. I can switch the bar. Yeah. Yeah. That way it'll, it'll um, he get your sensitivity correctly. So if you go a little quieter, a little louder, it'll still pick you up. So it'll right, be, how's that? It's, it'll be, it's better? a little better. Yeah. Because okay. you're cutting out when you get quieter sometimes. So I want to make sure we can actually hear you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, what are you doing? Also, he yeah. had a bad sleight of hand, so, like, the dwarf definitely saw it. <laughs> and he, like, crosses his arms and is just like... Well, kind of, kind of because of her upbringing, she does, she has, like, really not the greatest... She doesn't really show appreciation very well, so mm -hmm. she sort of just abruptly doesn't accept the meat and cheese, but she takes the bread. Okay. okay, very good. Well, it's kind of behind my back. I'm not looking, so... Yeah. <laughs> so you, 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 you pull your hands back and you just have meat and cheese in your hands still, and you're like, well, all right. Well, uh -huh. I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, all right. What else y'all doing? Well... Really um, quickly, because she was really, really hungry. <laughs> okay. How's our, how's our patient doing? Yeah, so Weaver's over uh, working with working with, with Keegan, and he comes back and says basically that uh, he should be better in the morning. Uh, he's treated him, and he just needs to rest, and he'll be good to go. They should wake up in the morning. Uh, he's treated like the fever, um, and it's just it was just a pretty gnarly, pretty gnarly cut. That got really messed up from like all like the the sea stuff, just, all the ocean life and ocean water that got in it. But uh, it should be good to go in the morning. So. 
a quick okay. aside, we should probably check him for mysterious new scars when he wakes up. New scars? Why? We never- Weaver might have switched out an organ or two. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, he does say, uh, that, uh, based on what he believes, what he's looked at, you know, from his medical experience, that he believes that, uh, where the, according to where the, the cut is, that, um, he possibly won't ever be able to speak again, though. Uh -oh. It's a great, it's like right there. Oh. Ooh. So, uh, when, you know, time will tell when, you know, to see when he wakes up if he can or not, but he probably won't be able to because he knew where the cut was. Oh. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay, anybody else? I've been doing a lot of talking here. Anybody else want to do something here? Yeah, what are you, what are you doing, Vinnegan? You just, uh... You, you know, just, I'm like... just hanging out, keeping quiet, <laughs> thinking about what I'm going to do with all this plesiosaurus meat. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're 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 prepping some plesiosaurus stuff, like you're, like for dinner. I'm I'm certainly portioning it. Okay, <laughs> are you gonna cook some for the, this evening? Yeah, probably. All right, well, she doesn't eat yes, meat, definitely. unfortunately. So, well, that's <laughs> I don't know what to, we we have a vegetarian in my real life family, and we don't cater to her either. <laughs> <laughs> and we hate her too. I mean, what? <laughs> I didn't say that. I just implied it. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Tell right. her it's a meat. Just tell her it's 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 not meat. Just just lie to her. <laughs> it's the best way to go, basically. Yeah. I have a low charisma, but we'll see if I can manage. <laughs> In real life. Okay. Right. So, so question for DM here. Um, mm -hmm. Normally, I would say we should be sitting around the campfire and telling stories and talking about our past and all this kind of stuff. But I'm guessing if we do that, we're not going to get to what you want to get to. Yep. Uh, so yep. I would say so. Skip I'm, that for I'm now. Going, I'm I mean, going I mean, to I mean, intersperse me chopping meat real quick. Just. Oh, <laughs> so he he doesn't use knives when he cuts his meat. He uses just his fist. Oh, I got oh, I got like wait. some brass knuckles, but instead of spikes on it, it's like one big blade, and I just oh damn. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, just <laughs> all right. Just he's just like just tenderizing the meat and just like staring vacantly. It's, it's tenderizing and face. butchering at the same time. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, hanging up some meat to dry and whatnot. All right, all right, I dig it. Yeah, and I, I think that probably, you're probably not like super stoked about like the smell of like a bunch of just meat everywhere. <laughs> At all. Just like hanging up around your face. Look, uh, for, for the record, if birds descended from dinosaurs, I absolutely know how to cook this animal. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, because you have a fast food chain, which definitely knows how to cook dinosaur meat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Uh, yeah. So I mean, it's we'll, we'll just say it's it's pretty late, uh, and you know, Lilith, you're pretty wiped out from rowing all day for the last three days. <laughs> for that yeah. pirate, yeah. Yeah, with that stupid pirate, <laughs> it's, it's, it refuses to wake up and be helpful. <laughs> it only talks when he's criticizing. Yeah. <laughs> he just wakes up. Oh, row faster. <laughs> <laughs> and complain right. about accents. <laughs> accents. Yeah. Exactly. Right. All right. Uh, so yeah, you guys can like just kind of bed down for the night. Um, sure. I'll just say, right, just for sake of simplicity. Mm -hmm. um, and like you all, like neither side is like super like sure about the other one, but like you, you feel comfortable enough to like at least you know go to sleep. Uh, you know, and it's not not too bad. All right. <clears throat> And Nomad's going to go over in the corner and do a little tinkering and with his all his little tools and stuff. Mm -hmm. bed yeah, and Nomad's going to do his tinkering, and uh, Weaver's going to do some of his uh, guitar playing, uh, which he cannot do live tonight because he's not here. But it's, <clears throat> it's not a guitar; it's something else. It's a it's a lute, but a I lute? can I can fill in if you guys would want me to. It's a lute. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, <laughs> he's like, please no. no, please no, please no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I just need to turn up the tone on the <clears throat> amp over there. All right, so <clears throat> you guys all fall asleep uh, for the night, uh, and then uh, in the middle of the night, uh, you are—I would say awoken, but that's not quite the right the right thing. Uh, so you were all. 
entombed in pitch darkness. You are unable to move, unable to breathe, unable to think. This is familiar. Uh, you're not even... Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you're not even... It does. Actually, that's a good point. It, it, it harkens, for the three of you at least, uh, it harkens back to your hell. time in, in the void before you awakened in hell. Uh, mm, great. And for Nomad in particular, this mm. is extremely familiar. <laughs> um, oh. Because you're not even fully certain that you actually currently exist. Um, but then all of a sudden, in one explosion of light, thought, and feeling, you just are in a very excruciating, extreme way. You just all of a sudden exist. Just gonna kind of like, all of us are nomad. All of you. Um, okay, okay, this is okay. this is primarily being you know, what what you feel, but yeah, uh, it, it, it's a, a collective shared experience currently. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, you can feel the wrongness of it all that you aren't supposed to exist you aren't supposed to be uh especially this suddenly uh you feel yourselves shake off the feeling of being solid rock uh and kind of the comfort there of being just a stationary immobile thoughtless being and then you are hit with the feeling of being soft and squishy uh, you're so much more brittle than you were before. Uh, and as you open your new eyes for the first time, this is all of you, uh, you see only light and color at first because your eyes are, are brand new. Um, but then what's around you begins to take shape. Uh, <clears throat> there are seven men of various races and heights standing around you. You don't really know you don't remember what different species are or look like, but you can tell they're, that they look different. Uh, and they're all dressed in matching robes, but in each in a different distinctive color. Uh, there's also, you guys should start remembering stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, there, just remember what I'm saying. I'm saying, okay. Uh, there's blue, yellow, pink, red, purple, green, and gold. Um, so there's there's one of there, there's seven men, one in a, each in a different color robe. Mm, power Rangers. Okay. <laughs> uh, they they talk to one another in raised voices and point at you, but you don't understand them uh, because you don't understand language yet at this point. Um, then they all turn and file through a door at the end of the room, arguing the whole way. Uh, you wait, look a around. Door. Wait, a door. A door, oh. yes. So we're not we're we're not on the island anymore. You're not on the island. You're oh. you don't know where you are yet, but because all you your your vision was mostly uh, these seven men looking over you until they they broke apart. Uh, uh, it, so now when you look around, uh, you see you're in a large yet plain room, and you are currently residing in a circular garden in the center of it. Uh, there's various decorative landscaping items around you. Like there's like a, a large bronze bird, a small fountain, and a sundial. There's flowers, ferns, and small trees as well. Uh, none of you know who you are, um, but you see again. <laughs> but you see each other, and you all look the same. You all look like a small man with a large beard and a red hat. Uh, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um, well, I shouldn't say none of you know who you are. Does that mean a previous uh, influence? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh, that is an excellent question. I would say Wait. yes. Ah! Wait, what did uh, you say? Freedom! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you don't know. What, okay. you don't know. what did he say? Oh, okay. That's a me thing. Um, none of you know who you are except for one of you. Uh, Keegan, oh. you... <laughs> not, not you, Finnegan. Keegan, uh, you've had this happen before, and you know what this is. Son and the last bitch. time, <laughs> and the last time this happened, it didn't go so well for you. God uh, damn it! <laughs> uh, a parrot that appears to be made entirely out of light sits on your shoulder, uh, and it takes off and touches everyone slightly on the head. And as it does, uh, then you all remember who you are. 
Except for one, that is. It does not touch Nomad. Um, and then the bird come back and sits on you on your shoulder, <clears throat> Keegan. Um, and I now need to deafen Nomad for a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Rest in peace, Pop. Okay. You're never coming back. I don't need him too. I'm at it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <clears throat> Matt. First of all, I hate you, but that's okay. <laughs> Why do you? What? Because <laughs> now I have to voice your stupid bird. All right. <laughs> Send me the lines and I'll do it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, you devil suckers, listen up and don't speak. The real little no man can't see or heal me because if he did, he would wake up and you don't need to look like clucking lunatics talking to yourself up in here. I've tapped into you, I've tapped you into his nothing. No, not his nothing, his nothing. His inner egotistical maniac that all hate and gooey evil. For some motherfucker reason, it seems to be have been fed recently and a huge amount too. We're here to kill that dark devil sucker for good. Stay with him and help him kill it, and all you fop doodles will be just fine. But for dream's sake, protect the gnome. Also, he is ca absolutely cannot know this is a dream, or the dream will turn against you and end. Good luck, devil suckers. And he stopped talking. Uh, you okay, get, okay. At my, at my <laughs> tremendously terrible you thing, ever that, you, ever get that feeling, you ever get that feeling like you missed something important? <laughs> And Nomad can hear again, take oh. notes. <coughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, so, um, yeah, what are y'all doing? Huh? What? Uh, Who? Just, what? Just, what? Is what's this going nomad? on? I don't know. I think they just, uh... So, okay, first of all, do I know who I am? No. So um... I don't know who I am. Okay, I, I Nomad, I... this... This is literally the instant in the well, world when you came sense. alive. Um, this is your memory of that time. Uh, so, uh -huh. um, wait. The so I do remember it or I don't remember? No, no, you you don't. I mean, you, Pop. Yes, you know what this is. But um, this <laughs> yeah. is but this is harkening. This is basically this is the memory of when you first came alive, and you're experiencing the same feelings, and you're in that same place you were then. So you don't know anything, basically. Uh, like, oh, okay, so I'm in a garden of some sort. That yeah. Where I, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I just like, don't know that's where I came alive. Right, like, you still have, like, okay. since, uh, yeah, you still uh, have, I, I will say that you still have, like, some of your medical knowledge, so you can't, like, I don't want to, like, remove your entire class and all that stuff, mm -hmm. right? So, like, I'll, I'll give you, like, all that stuff and whatnot, um, but the general rule, you don't know, like, you know, who these people are, and you don't know what your name is, and you don't know uh, like who, like those men were, for instance, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, you just know that you are, you now exist, and uh, yeah. I would like to say officially that just because I'm related to you <laughs> doesn't mean that you can always take advantage of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does though, and yeah. <laughs> Who was the I one did. who was unconscious for the last like twenty minutes? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. yeah. Uh, also, you were the easiest one to pick on, uh, since I don't even want to mess with Finnegan stuff, right? Now. <laughs> oh, because this stuff is complicated. That's, it's think. real complicated. You're the simplest one to mess with. Okay. okay. Currently, for this for this thing, for short notice. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. So, um, just to. Uh, give you an idea like I've, I've tried the area you're in a little bit right you're in the little uh a it's a large remember it's a large circular room and in the center is a circular garden but outside of that um as you look out you see a bunch of workstations um uh, that most likely belong to these people in robes right workstations as in computers mm, no these are these are desks with like quills and books, and oh, there's like okay. some like mechanical devices and some like some files and some uh, some files with the F and files <laughs> with the PH, um, and you know there's like you know each one has kind of a little bit different stuff, um, but there's like a bunch of like research notes it looks like and like some you know some some writing and whatnot. Uh, you have to go over to each one to to look though, but there are 
eight of them. So, not that okay. it will help the party, but apparently Nomad knows how to work the Adobe Suite. <laughs> what? He, what? he knows what computers are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was asking, I was asking Excel. as Hop, not as Nomad. I know, yeah, yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> all right, so, uh, what are y'all doing? I'm not too terribly inclined to do anything at the moment. I'm just going to enjoy the silence. All right, well, I can hear my own thoughts! I hate it. I'm the damn bird. You know what? I'm gonna listen to the damn bird. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So what do you get what are you doing? Where's the gnome? Alright, yeah, the gnome is off to your, your left hand side. Yeah. All He's right. the only one that you all look like yourselves now. Now uh, Oh, I was about to ask, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh that's too confusing. Uh you all look okay. like yourselves, even even to him. Um so yeah, you know which one's him. Goo. <laughs> <laughs> Goo. It What's up, like I, dude? I was, just, I was just born. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you got all your cognitive stuff. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the the, yeah, the how's feeling it going, of dude? <laughs> who, who who are you? What 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 is going on? Not I'm super very... important at this time. What? Oh. oh. The anyway, nomad backs away you know where from you're him. at? I'm afraid of him. What's going on? You know where? Uh oh. Do, do you know where you're at? Mm, don't think so. No? Is this I, place... The, take a look around. I see I see a pirate yelling at a gnome. I'm gonna just go and stand behind the pirate. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna help bully the gnome. Yeah, cause you guys have... Yeah, so most of, <laughs> yeah, most of you haven't seen Keegan before. Uh, or you've seen him, but you haven't, like, interacted with Keegan before. Uh, but, so they, you be but, but they remember each other from the past hour, right? Uh, yeah. Well, okay. he didn't talk. He was just an un, uh, undead, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. unconscious. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, this is difficult having to filter myself as a DM. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, as a general, I, I do anyways though for most people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Freaking kids. Yeah. So what are you? What are you? What are y'all doing? I'm just. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm just. A, I'm gonna back up. Asking the gnome the if he knows where he's at. Right. Okay. Right. That's right. Um, so yeah. Um, I would say. All right, Nomad, are you gonna try and recall, recall if you if you remember? Well, I thought you already told me I don't. Not like right now, okay. but you can try. All right, right? so I mean, okay, you so you just asked me. Okay, so I'm gonna say, oh, sh should should I should I recognize this place? Maybe. <laughs> All right, oh, give me, me a, give me a, give me a straight intelligence roll. Let, let me look around. Let me Take look, a look around. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, hold on, I gotta find. I had the wrong thing up. Um, okay, so I'm looking around. I got a 14. Yeah. So you get, uh, yeah, you, this does feel familiar, right? You're like, okay, yeah, I've, I've been here before. I, I think I, I think, I think I live here or something. Uh, okay, I've been here before. I think I live here. I think I live here. <laughs> oh, you think you live here? I think you ever I moved? Used to, I think I used to live here or something. Yeah, have you ever moved? And I actually mean physically. Have you ever moved? Moved? Um, yeah. Uh, no, I just sit here all day. Yeah, you, you want to give it a shot? Yeah, because you haven't moved yet, Nomad. You're just still, oh, like, right. standing yeah. there. Because you don't know what that means. <laughs> stock, stock still is. What, what, what do you mean? What do you What do you mean? I mean, well, I, I want to... you, I want you to take all of that little brain power that you're using <laughs> to talk to me and put it into one of your, and I want you to move it forward. Okay. Uh, you mean like the like those like the pink flamingos do? Don't sure. You mean? <laughs> okay. You know and like the like like sometimes when I see children around, they they. They they rock and run and stuff. Do that. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe let's not go to running. Let's start with one step. Okay, <laughs> I take a step. Yeah, you're good. How's that? How's that? Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, good job. Now, where do you want to go? What where do I want to go? I want to just run around. Can I run around like the children used to do? Go for it. Yeah. Okay. So sure. I'm gonna hop up and down and run around and stuff like that. Yeah, you oh, have a little. Means. You have a little bit of a, a bit, of, bit of trouble at first, but yeah, you're good. Yeah, you you can hang up pretty quick, and you run around the room a bit, 
like a crazy person, just like. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stands back and folds his arms and just kind of watches this gnome run around the garden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive. I'm gonna be yeah. vaguely paying yeah. attention. Hmm. I'm just gonna like. I'm gonna observe the gnome, but I'm not really looking, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. thinking my own thoughts for the first time in a while. How, how did this happen? I. Wow. I have no idea. I don't know who you are. Well, I'm, I'm one. I'm a stone lawn gnome that sits in a garden oh. and just sits and watches stone. things go by. Uh, you did. You might want to check yourself. You're not very stony. <laughs> well, come here. Bang, bang on my chest. <laughs> I'd rather not. Boom, 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 boom. I'll do it. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll walk right up. Yeah. Why, why don't you go ahead and wrap your own chest for a second? Why don't you All just right. put your hand there for a second and see what you feel? Oh, I don't feel stone. Ah, uh, yeah, isn't that surprising? <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, what happened? What did you do know. to me? I didn't do shit to you. You didn't? <laughs> I look at everybody else. What did you guys do to me? <laughs> <laughs> Blank. They're all stone now. <laughs> we just we just got here. You just got here? We? I just got here. Huh? We all can, just got here. I can say that now. Why? Why'd you come here? Why did you just come to visit me? Apparently. Well, you were all remember you were all have the same kind of feeling at, that he did, right? Uh, you all like you all kind of came alive at the same time as well, right? Oh, I'm feeling oh, real God. alive. Oh, okay. I got a question for DM. So, yes. so do I, by any chance, recognize them as maybe they used to be in the lawn? <laughs> uh, <No. laughs> roll an intelligence check. <laughs> That's, I mean, <laughs> a lot of intelligence checks happen here. Can I just hit the arrow up? Oh, here we go. Good. Uh, no, you're, you don't know. No, you didn't really have like a, you didn't really have a viewpoint. So, like, you kind of were angled outward so you don't know you don't okay. recognize them per se but that doesn't mean they weren't there mm. and you didn't really like see before i sensed yeah you could like sense well, a little bit i had like... to somehow see if you tell me that i recognize the lawn and the, the well, yard yeah right so i had to see yeah. something right yeah that's, that's true I don't, I mean, that's what I'm going on anyway. I don't know how that works, but <laughs> hey, this is... It's logic. It's, yeah. it's magic logic. Yeah. This is magic. This is magic, magic physics, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so you're okay. all, yeah, you're all happy you're, you're alive and looking around and kind of like yeah. figuring stuff out. Okay. okay. Um, so I have no other memory though, right? So I, it's not like I'm going right. to, I don't have any motivation or anything to do anything, right? So, so I mean, while this while this gnome is realizing that he's alive, um, Keegan's gonna take a look around and just I want to just look around and just see what's other than the garden. Is there mm -hmm. anything else beyond that? Like, really, I'm looking for a building. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is. I mean, you're in a a single room that has no windows and has one door at the end that the the men had gone through, uh, and there are eight workstations uh, evenly placed on the border of the room. So it appears to be that's the, the primary function of the room is the workstations. Um, and that's all oh, so that we're not in the garden? The garden is in the center of the room. So there's like a small circular okay. garden oh, okay. in the center okay. of the room. A shrubbery, out, around if you will. That. <clears throat> a what? Uh, a shrubbery, if you will. A all right, so, so I'm going to walk <laughs> over to one of the workstations. OK, sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, and so you're give me an investigation roll on it. Have a look right. at it. <clears throat> what is my investigation? Wow, not good. I'm not. <laughs> You're a terrible spy. <laughs> I'm, I steal things, not investigate things. Thank like, you. I think it's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> it looks colorful. Oh, damn, that's good, though. Ow! 18? Mm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm satisfied with that. All right, so the... <laughs> But minus one didn't hurt that bad. Yeah, it yeah. didn't. <laughs> minus one to investigation. That's bad. All right. No, uh, I have a, a minus one intelligence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Ouch. laughs> 
Wow. Not exactly the one you want in front of the in front of this. Yeah. Uh, well, oh well. Uh, okay, so the you go over to uh, I'm gonna call this workstation one, um, and you can you look over some of like the notes and some of the books and uh, some of the apparatuses there, and you can tell that um, based on what it's 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 pretty like it's it's written in a language you can understand mostly. It's it's something like. Can can uh there's like some runes and like some some gibberish but like you know you get the basic gist of what it is it's basically uh research notes for magic concerning protective wards magical barriers and banishing creatures <clears throat> and uh there appears to be a completed spell scroll uh of the spell snare hmm. well I see where you're going, but um, <laughs> um, Nomad is like watching. Um, yeah, so Nomad, you get the feeling team. that like you're supposed to do something. You're supposed to go somewhere. Like the, I, you can feel like a tug that's like it's like leading you on to like to do something. You don't know what that is, but you feel like you're supposed to like move and like and achieve something or, or find something or someone. It's a pretty vague feeling. All right, so I'm going to walk around. Um, let me walk toward Keegan. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, I don't know his name, do I? Um, nope. Hey, uh, what's he look like again? A pirate. <laughs> hey, pirate hey, 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 do I know what a pirate is? <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> hey, pirate looking man. <laughs> hey, pirate looking man. What, what, what are you looking at? I'm looking at some paperwork. Is it high enough, or is it low enough that I can see? Uh, you can, and there's like a little step stool you can just drag over and just like look up. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> I, I look at what he's looking at, and mm -hmm. do I recognize it? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, you you can tell what it is. Um, okay. You don't know why you know what it is, but you can you can determine what it is. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> do I know what to do with it? I mean, it's it's spells and like, right. and I know yeah, that you, you know, yeah, you know how to do spells. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. To, it's hard to know what I know. you're expecting when you remove all my memory, but not all of it. And it's like it's hard to it's hard to figure out. Yeah, I mean, you don't know why. Like, there's it's like one thing you're like you don't know why you know these things. But okay. Like, if you try to like think about like the origins of these memories, you're like, I got nothing. Like, I just I know that I know that's a thing, right? So like, that's like most of like the things that you of your like your your class and. Why not? Like you'll you remember? It's kind of like just in, in like built in, right? Okay, it's okay. Instinctual, so, right? Okay, so you said I saw <clears throat> a bunch of stuff, and one of them was a snare scroll. You said. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. so my inclination would be to try to pick it up and okay, yeah. Put it in you, my bag or pocket or whatever it is I keep. Yeah, you got stuff put on put it in your giant hat. Sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my giant hat. Right. Right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's you grab, not, grab the. That's not a the bad idea. Is to write a bunch of runes on the hat and use that as like a funnel for magic, or a megaphone. <laughs> megaphone. Yeah. And what else is what else is on this this work? This is workstation one. Workstation one. Workstation what else one is has is it's like it's, it's research notes and and books uh, on protective wards, magical barriers, and banishing creatures. Am I supposed to remember all this? I can write it down and put it in Discord if you wish. Well, sure. I mean, because there's how many of these are there? There's yes. eight. So, right. uh, so we're gonna... I'm gonna I'm gonna save us some time, and I'm yeah. gonna use uh, Keegan's eight, uh, original role and, and say he's gonna go around the room uh, and look at all. Yeah, of them. I was, okay. I was yeah. actually about I to say, say I was gonna, gonna go for something ever. about animating yes. objects. Yeah. Um, so that I'm gonna go. I was gonna go look for. <laughs> hold on one second here. I'm gonna write all this down. Because they each have like their own research notes, and they each have a spell scroll. <clears throat> if I can just get all of this copied without having my DM notes to tell you exactly everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. That's eight, right? Okay. Okay, let me space them out too, so you, you don't get confused by looking at them. <clears throat> so, um, I'm assuming after I go look at all these research tables, uh, is everyone else following me and looking at them too? <clears throat> no, I'm good. 
Hey. I, I got, so I got, what are you doing? I got some other. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just. He's being, eating chicken. No. Just smelling the flowers. <clears throat> well, almost literally, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Lil. What, what are you doing, Lil? I, I can't go into Lil. specifics, but I'm very happy with my current situation. I okay. Oh. I I would say she she casually comes over. She doesn't want to act interested, but she is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um. Actually, give me. Roll seven d twenty. No, actually, no. You can't hit it anyway. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Man, if only you didn't have that negative one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> so uh, DM. While mm -hmm. uh, while everyone is smelling flowers and looking at paperwork, <laughs> very unhelpful. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, I'm gonna try to. Sneak away for a second. Okay. Are you collecting these spell scrolls? Or are you giving them no nope. matter? Okay. Are they the nope. same? Put just okay. while okay. they're looking at all of that stuff, I'm gonna just try to slip away, like sneak out for a second. Okay. There's one door. <laughs> no, no, no. Just <laughs> I'm just going to try to hide, essentially. Oh, okay. Like be behind one of like the 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 stations. <clears throat> sure. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna just pull out like one of like the just. <laughs> and one of the bookcases and <laughs> behind it. <laughs> okay, you're gonna hide. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess give me a stealth roll. Okay. Give me. Let's see that. I feel like even though I'm preoccupied, I might still notice this. You got passive perception. Uh, wow. That's garbage. So yeah. Yeah, it's, it is. It's very loud. <laughs> Everybody's looking at you. Try to hide behind the cabinet. <laughs> I wasn't, hiding, I wasn't hiding, kidding nothing. when I said, <laughs> the bookcase, you signed it up. <laughs> anyway, either way, I pull out this bookshelf. I turn and look back at everyone else, and I say, sorry about and I sit behind it. Okay, <laughs> okay. So they you know you're there, but they don't really care. Does anyone okay. give a crap? <laughs> I'm half tempted to join him. He seems like he knows what's going on. <laughs> Wait, yeah, okay. so hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, odd. I don't care. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Okay. This is not uh, the first time I've played a character whose whims so, were decided by the dice. <laughs> yeah. So what are you what are you doing there, uh, Keegan? Hang on. Yeah. Are you gonna write something? Yes. Okay. I could also just deaf and nomad if it's. But. Do what? Okay. Uh, I heard death in no. You can also deafen, I guess, but Definitely. this was just the way for me to do it. <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't sure if you wanted everyone to get involved or not. I uh, kind of. This is just Keegan wanting to yeah. <laughs> figure it out for himself. Are we waiting? Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay. oh. I, I, I guess you guys can continue on, and I'll I will just respond to his uh, his stuff. In no, the I just time. okay. Well, to save to save time, do we want to go through every single one of these and talk about it and stuff, or do you want to just like do it all? Yeah, I'll I'll just do a, a a brief. Yeah, okay. So the the first yeah. one has protective wards, magical barriers, and banishing creatures, and well, has we can, we can the, read it. Just... Yeah, the spell snare. I know, but this audio form. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> um, station two has transporting or summoning creatures or items, including self teleportation, and it contains the spell for arms of Hadar. Uh, station three contains uh, revelations of secrets, uh, hidden items, and insight into the past and or future. Uh, it contains a spell scroll for the spell identify. Uh, four has influencing and controlling the minds of others. Creating friends by force or turning them into mindless puppets. Uh, it okay. contains a spell command. Uh, five has notes on a manipulation of magical energy into the raw power of the elements and contains spell scroll for magic missile. Uh, six has notes on deceiving the senses and minds of others to make people see things that aren't really there. Uh, it contains the spell minor illusion. And seven contains notes on manipulation of the energies of life and death to give extra life force or pull the life force from another to interact with the, the undead and control them. It contains a spell scroll, spell 
Toll the Dead. And then eight contains notes on the changing of the properties of an item or creature into that of another uh, to boost the existing property of something to make it more powerful. And it contains the spell Goodberry. Right, what I'm asking is, do you want us to just go to each one? I mean, do you want to spend the time of us that's, addressing that's the That's the information you, that you that, is, that is all the information you obtain from these stations, basically. Right, okay. So, Nomad, I assume, knows, knows about this stuff. Um, so, for instance, he knows that the Arms of Hadar is not a wizard spell, right? He would know that. A wizard spell? Right. Uh, he knows he's a wizard, right? wizard spells. No, like the Arms of Hadar is a warlock spell. Oh. So he can't, if I understand it right, he can't use it. Or should uh, I rat in that? <laughs> you can rat in that if you wish. Wait, um, we wouldn't know about rat or he wouldn't. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> not to not to get that's picky, fair. but mm. no, that's yeah. good. That's a good point. Because all he knows is that he is spells and he has foot. He, he he's not made out of rocks no more. Right, right. So, yeah, I, like, I'm struggling with what I know and what I don't know. Like for instance, I know Goodberry would be very useful for a certain member of the party. Do I mm -hmm. say? Can I? Do I know that? Yeah. Uh, well, no, I mean, uh, uh, sure. Yeah. I'll I'll make it easier on you. I don't want it to be too complicated on you with like the memory thing. Uh, right. I don't want to I don't want to drag you down. So yeah, sure. You you you'll know <laughs> most things. Let's go with that. I just don't want you to to like you don't know who they are. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. So. Okay. Um. So. Okay. So I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna walk over to number two and say is there a warlock in the house <laughs> yeah that's that's fine uh is anybody a warlock here nobody nobody raises their hand no dice nobody nobody raises their hand okay so i guess i'll just pocket the, the spell anyway i don't know what harm it does um keegan stands up from behind the bookshelf <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you call. Walks back out. Walks back out. Doesn't say anything. <laughs> he just stands there for a minute. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going down the line here. Um, identify. I'm. I, I'm. I, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if any of these other spells are for other things. I I do know Goodberry, but I don't know. I know the other spells are all wizard spells. Um, so I'm just going to pocket them all if you let me. Oh, command I don't think is mine. So I would need to look up command. Okay. Um, let me just see. Yeah, I'll just say you get all... I mean, uh, are we sure that you need to be the class that is in order to use a spell scroll? That's what I was going to Radovan, but apparently I can't Radovan to find out. Uh, I mean, how say you should try it. Okay. See what happens. I mean, this but, is general but what rule. I, but what I know to say, Radovan? No, no, you, you wouldn't. But uh, I can't. <laughs> no, but I'm saying that you can just be like, I'm, I can just do this thing and see what happens. He's saying try it out. You can try oh, the spell. But, like, no, but spell gonna... scrolls are one one time use. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not gonna just try it out. I mean, it, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I mean, just, right. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, all right. Well, okay. So okay. So I guess what I'll do as a test is I'm going to. No, no. Well, depends on how much you want to go by the rules here, because okay. the rules say if I try, it burns up if it's not. If it's you not my spell. You don't know. Well, I know. I I should know this. I mean, you said that I know what wizards wizards do in the rules, so I should know that. You don't know about these specific ones, though. Okay. There are other kinds in the world that are not just single use. Okay, fine. All right. So, uh, do I know what Arms of Hadar does? 
Yeah. Okay, tell me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, guess I don't know what. I... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, she has this. I'll. What I'll I'm do. I'll, to... I'll, no, no. I don't want to slow you down. Is I'll, if, if you want to know, if you want to look up a spell that you don't have, I'll give you an arcana check, and if you get the right thing, you can just look it up on D and Beyond. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I don't, I don't need to like go through all this stuff. Well, I just don't want to waste too much time here. That's why I was. Yeah, yeah. I know. All right, so I and you guys can all jump in whenever you feel like it. <laughs> no, I'm 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 good just hearing my own thoughts. Okay. Okay, not so getting, not getting internally interrupted. So just to sum up what we have currently, we have eight workstations, eight scrolls. Um, there is one door at the end of uh, the well, end of the room. Um, and seven people left through that door. Okay, so f just to get things going, I think maybe what I should just do is just go around to each one of them and just pocket them all. Okay, you pocket all the scrolls. Nobody's complaining, so... Cool, yeah. I'm going to go open the door. <laughs> okay. All right, Keegan, you... Hold on, let me pull mine. I'm on the wrong tab. Ha -ha. There we go. <laughs> Um, yeah, hold on, I need to pull up another thing as well, hold on, quick here, where did I put this, there it is, okay. um, so yeah, um, you go through, the, you, go, you go to the door, you, you open it up, it doesn't explode, it doesn't <laughs> to kill you, it doesn't do anything, uh, it just opens, um, and there is a second room, uh, behind that door, because that's how doors work. Um, <laughs> uh, it is a simple room made out of smooth wood uh, with eight doors. Nothing more. <laughs> eight doors. It is a, a simple rectangular room that is just a wall of doors, basically. Uh, and each door has a colored symbol over it. Uh, there's one that looks like a blue trident, one that looks like an upside down yellow A. Uh, I'll put these up in a minute. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. one that looks like a gray smushed Y, uh, one that looks like a, like a pink combined T and M, a red exploded circle one, a purple <laughs> eyeball, a green jellyfish top, and a gold connected Roman numeral too. It's kind of like what the, what that kind of looks like. I'm putting that <clears throat> in the discord. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, see, wasn't that hard. So there are eight I'm in, doors. I'm entirely befuzzled. I'm not even in the room, actually. Wait, does one door that. lead to destruction and <laughs> one door leads to a horrible death? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you know what these symbols mean? Because I sure don't. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll walk. I'll, I'll follow the pirate man. He still seems like he knows what's up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and refer to the gnome. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so recognize okay. this stuff at all, my man? Okay, so I, well, am I in the room yet? I'm walking into the room if I'm not. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can go to the room and you can see these symbols. Uh, yeah. Do I do I just recognize them? Uh, I I don't want to be that easy on you. Uh huh. Uh. -huh. <laughs> okay. uh, uh Give me an arcana check, and if you get a critical hit, then yes. Okay, fine. Okay. Right, hold on. Wow, that's kind of heavy. It's just saying, it's just like, hey, do I solve the, 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 the puzzle instantaneously? Oh, oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> that, do I read sure this? You, like, are you like, sure you want me to even do that? <laughs> it's fine. Go for it. Okay, hold on. Please roll a 20. It doesn't matter what your doesn't matter okay. what fire is. Oh, so just critical. 1d20. Okay, fine. Yeah, 1d20. If you get a critical hit. No. <laughs> you got nothing. You got nothing. Got nothing. Okay. Like, right. you recognize them as being magical, basically. Uh, like, that's basically it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there any kind of, like, slot in the doors, or is it just a door? Just like a just, wooden... It's a simple wooden door with a knob. Wow. Special. You're talking about yep. each, of the, each of the eight doors? Are yeah, because I, I put them all in a row, but they're each on a different door. Okay. Just super clear. And they're in uh, that sequence. Hold on, did I miss one? Oh no, I missed one. Uh -oh. oh no! Good job. There's only one, yeah, two, there's three, only seven four, there. Five, six. Whoopsies. Uh, hold on. Please hold my keys. 
<laughs> All right, so that doesn't help. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna put that on real quick. I must have cropped it wrong. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, I'm gonna put this. This is the first one. Ooh. Okay, it's that color. I didn't take the time to recolor it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a it's a blue little trident thing. Okay? okay, that's the color with the symbol. That one looks familiar, or at least angry. Looks angry. Yes. So. Uh, <clears throat> so you, that's the order they're in, okay, from left to right. You said there were seven men, but there's eight doors? Yep. Ooh. Okay, so there was... Seven brides, seven brothers. There was a blue, <laughs> a yellow, a pink, a red and a purple, a mm -hmm. green, and a gold. Wait a minute, what am I missing? One. Which one? Oh, what? There's eight symbols, seven people. Blue, yellow. Hmm, that math doesn't add up. I'm trying to figure out which one's missing. Four, five, blue six, and seven. yellow. Oh, pink. Okay, so the, between the yellow and pink is, what would you call that? White? Gray? Uh, that, hold on. Between that one the, does not have a man associated. That's gray. That's gray. Right. Yeah. And there was no gray. So that one might be special. You got what? a gray beard. It might be the one that kills us all, or it might be the one that we want. <laughs> so what are you doing? You have these eight doors, and you have eight spell scrolls. Oh, uh, if I had some memory, I would tell you we've been through this kind of stuff before, and it didn't turn out well. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, so I won't say it. <laughs> Try casting the corresponding spell scroll at the door. Ooh, good idea. Okay, are the were the okay? So were the um, whoa, the spell scrolls the were they colored? No. Or did they have any symbols on them? Or did the workstations no. have any symbols on them? No. So I would no have no idea so what we have no slide. idea what workstation went to which symbol correct damn that was a really good idea though <laughs> right because those eight workstations okay you're right mm -hmm. there is that correlation um okay so go back i mean one. someone other than keegan can go investigate if you wish uh, but he even did the, all the investigation all of them and i can't have him roll again so i mean if one of you wants to go check again you can but I'm not feeling motivated to. I got, I'm real happy that I'm I'm free. Well, okay, well, so okay. you no man, did you just turn up play today, Tigger? Dude, you, you you gave my character an out. I'm taking it. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, Nomad is the okay. curious is the curious type, so he I'm pretty sure he would go back and okay. Start looking at, looking in more detail at each of these. Next time okay. I'll ask if I'm free of the influence, and I'll just go, "No, absolutely not. Never again." Just, <laughs> you don't do anything. Just... Some people need some direction in their lives, and I'm saying Finnegan is one of them. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, give me a, an investigation check, there, Nomad. Just a, a a well, give me eight investigation checks, okay? I mean, if somebody asked me to do something, How I'd probably do, I do that. It. So roll 8d20. And then add my 5 to it? Uh, yeah. Um, I think I can use parentheses in this thing, right? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it'll just... Right. It'll, it, if you roll 8d20, it'll tally the d20 together no matter what. So I don't think you, you can do that. Oh, that's true. You so could just roll... Just give it, you could just do the same roll, roll 8 times quick. That's right, true. So you can just you can macro it. That's fine. Or or that. Okay. So I did that. <laughs> so here's all the numbers. So now I'm not sure what you're gonna. Uh, do, but, you but need my, a, my modifier is a five. Okay. Um. So hold on. I'm gonna count the ones that that succeed then. Uh. Let's see, it's this one. That's one. Is that the five? Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Uh. Two. Two succeeded. Okay. Um. And Oof. I'm gonna roll a d8. You could just that. count them. I know. Number eight. 
number three. All right, so number three, station number three and station number eight. Uh, you okay. find something there. Oh, you lucky son of a gun. You. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so on on both stations three and eight, you find mm. colored cufflinks. <coughs> um, at station three, you find gray cufflinks. At station eight, you find gold cufflinks. They were hidden away in a little tiny, like, drawer that uh, had, like, a little, like, catch to it, so it wasn't super obvious at the time. All right, well, now that, around. now that we know what we're looking for, can Which we go to the other one? Which is kind of sad, because I'm the rogue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you may want to shift your stats yeah. around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might want to not my suck so bad. My intelligence is in high, my dexterity is. Yeah, but you want to get a proficiency in it, though, like an investigation. Yeah. It might help, but yeah. Okay, yeah. so it was in one of these yeah. little drawers, right? Yeah, there's a little so, drawer. Okay, so I'm going to call everybody around and say, hey, guys, um, start looking through drawers and see if we find colored cufflinks and look at and associate them with each of the... and, and report back if you find any. <laughs> Tell me which, which one it goes to. How's that sound? Okay, yeah. Can I do that? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. All right. That's fine. Um, yes, yeah, so Keegan already, you did your search, so you can find anything again. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, who else wants to roll? My turn. Well, but, but, right. but 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 I'm telling them specifically where to look too. Maybe it's different places. It was, in each it was one. in a different place for each of them. Like okay, okay, fine. yeah, like they were like a little tiny. Like one was. And in, like, I hold it up and I hold it up to, so they know what they're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I'll give you advantage, I guess. All right, all right, Finnegan, roll your eight d twenty. Oh, I, I was gonna do it one at a time, so the modifier actually counted. Uh, that's fine too. Go ahead and so roll. So twenty two on the first. Okay. Ten on the second. Okay. Twenty-two. <laughs> okay. Twenty-one. Mm-hmm. Fifteen. Mm-hmm. Fifteen. I lost count. <laughs> Wait. But but he doesn't need to check three and eight, right? Twenty-one. Right. That's true. Actually, you don't need to. Check. Yeah, so you want you to do uh, six rolls. Thirteen. Right. I think that's six. Yeah, yeah. One, All right, two, you find three, two three, more. Four, five. Um, oh, okay, yeah, two more. Yeah, you find we already got eight, uh, four, and mm. two. Four and two. Okay. Here you go, little man. Uh, at two, you found <laughs> yellow. Uh, and at four, you found pink. Ooh, uh, pink lemonade. Anybody else? Uh, I'll roll. I don't know how to do it, but if you walk me through it, I'll roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so what is your investigation modifier? Ooh, like my numbers? Yep. That is a good question. So, <laughs> your, so look yeah, at yeah. Your, your character sheet, and there's this section called skill. It's in the middle. Big, long, it's a big, long list of stuff. How do I get to my character sheet again? Oh, um, okay. D&D Beyond. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, Hold on one second. And hint about the character sheet. You're going to probably want to have a shortcut or something to it. Yep. Because you're yeah, going to want that open yeah. all the time. You want to have it open all the time, yeah, for sure. I, <laughs> I don't have the app 20 or D&D bookmarks. I go to them manually every week. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That sounds horrible. Do you really? Yeah. I'm, I'm, su I'm actually surprised. Okay. I'm, also, I'm also the same guy. I, I'm tired of going through my, my, my programs bar. I literally just type in the search bar for any apps I want to use now. <laughs> if it's That's Steam, if it's Discord, it doesn't matter yeah. what it is. I don't, I don't fiddle with icons anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. so I have it up. Um, mm -hmm. I have my character sheet up. What am I looking yep. for? Okay, so uh, investigation um, in the middle. In the, in the middle, there's this big long list of stuff. Got it. It says plus one. Okay, so roll a d20 plus one, uh, and roll it. We're at. Uh, I, so so I would literally type it. in d20. Okay. No. So what you do is you, type slash. You would roll. type that. I put yep. it in Dungeons and Dogs. Oh, very good. Just copy paste that basically. What do, you, what do you put in Dungeons and Dogs? Just copy paste that and just paste that into roll twenty. And you get to do right it twice on. for each check because you have advantage. Yeah, yeah. Literally, copy paste twice. Yeah, yeah cop, paste copy twice. paste and then enter. Enter and then do it, and again. Then do it again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's no. Okay, go again. <laughs> Third time. Yeah, do two, another another pair. You're doing pairs because you have advantage. So advantage means you get to roll twice and take the higher number. Okay, five and a nineteen. Okay. And then do, hold on, how many more? Is that one, hold on. 
This one. All right, roll it. Once, twice. All right, all right. Do it. I need three more pairs. That makes sense. <laughs> times. Six right. more times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then... By the way, I did learn that. Okay. Roll twenty actually has a way of doing advantage and disadvantage and stuff. That's cool. Oh, okay. And once but more. you got to remember the commands. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You got nothing. Sorry. <laughs> oh, right, right. right. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. She got Maybe nothing. One. Yeah, she got nothing. Sorry. And... But she had like 19s and 17s. Nope. Not good enough. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, Sorry. I wasn't paying She's attention to the out. numbers. Yeah, guess, Diggory got two 22s. You he need... had two critical hits. Wow. You're dang right I did. <laughs> okay, is there anybody left? I, oh, I Marcus! Think... Marcus is not here. And neither oh, is Weaver, Mar by the way. Oh really? It, nope. Neither. More neither forge don't forge dream. They don't sleep. Uh oh. What? Oh. Well, I have thought is, about that. Is that not the reason you decided they weren't here? <laughs> so oh, it's fun that people are figuring it out now. Uh oh. Um. Hold on. I need to find a note real quick because uh -oh. he said a I, thing. I think I might have just problem. broke something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You did. Trevor uh, forgot that did. War Forged you aren't people. Bad, you did a bad thing. <laughs> Keegan ah! just crosses his arm and smiles. <laughs> yeah, Keegan's just like, uh-oh. It's a real dream. Are we, all, are we all looking up into the heavens where the DM lives and saying something's wrong here? <clears throat> um, okay, Nomad, uh, give me a D100. <laughs> oh no, not one of these. <laughs> right. I'm so sorry. Because Finnegan said out loud something that he should not have said. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't quite get that. Three? Three? Really? Uh, oh dear. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I did anymore! Okay. So, Red alert! What? So, you feel compelled to repeat a specific activity over and over again. You, uh, who are you talking to? You. Me? Uh, oh. Yes, you. Uh, so give me an activity that Nomad would be doing right now, or in this time, that he would be doing repeatedly in a somewhat like mad sense. Mad as in like crazy. Jumping up and down? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> is that what you mean? That kind of a thing? More of a simple activity, like Counting some coins, or like oh. touching all you know, like the banister handles or something. I mean, like Monk would do. You need. O Not, he's saying oh, have an OCD oh, okay. fit. Yeah, like oh, a super OCD yeah. like. He should, uh, like. he should clean his hat. He should be obsessed with cleaning his hat. Oh my! Okay. I'm on my pipe. Get the, get the spare. Yeah, oh, yeah, your pipe. pipe. That's, that's good, I did my good. pipe. That's, that yeah, was pipe. good. That was good. <laughs> hmm. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I you gotta be the gnome is uncomfortable. Give him math. Okay. Are you smoking? Are you cleaning? What are you doing? cleaning. Okay. Yeah. So you keep on just like you 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 feel like something's wrong, and like you're trying to fidget. Like you start to like feel that <laughs> things are like looking at you, and you start to fidget with your pipe and keep cleaning it. Like something's definitely wrong, and it's starting to really bother you. Okay. Just just letting you know. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, carry on though. Uh, so far, this, this, so you're aware. This, uh, this is this is typical of, of this game, guys. <laughs> these, these, what he thinks are hints, or oh, that's not a hint. It's just or, a, the fact that happens to you. But yeah. Weird things that happen, and we have no idea why. And, and don't be surprised if we never find out why. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's, it was it was a mess. Uh, okay, so this year where you found at station two you found yellow, at station three you found gray, at station four you found pink, and at station eight you found gold. Okay. Okay. You have four yeah. colors. And you could not locate the rest of them, unfortunately. Mm hmm. Well. Who's got an idea? So am I am I involved here or I'm am I just Arby's? No, you can you can carry on. It's just you're kinda like a little you're on edge, basically. I'm on edge. I'm on edge. Okay. okay. Now I imagine a little gnome with like some aviators on trying to be a hitman. <laughs> a little John Wick gnome. Yeah, so what are y'all what are y'all doing? You found these these cufflinks, a colored <laughs> coded four of them, so you know <laughs> For the record, I didn't so, think I was saying that in character. Well, it doesn't matter. Too late. Too late. I, um, yeah. I'm sorry, Diggory. Me. 
What's your character's name again? The masked one. Finnegan. <laughs> it's Finnegan. Actually, I'm not wearing the mask. It is Finnegan. Yeah, yeah. You're not wearing the mask. I didn't say I wasn't wearing. I'm wearing a yeah. mask. I have my own. So could there be could there be these cufflinks like buried in the ground somewhere? So, should we like dig for could, them? You could look. I mean, so, you could so, just so, so, dig around. Ke Keegan <laughs> Keegan walks over to Finnegan and goes and go just goes Ixnay on talking about the dream a okay. <laughs> 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 What? Okay, a. Hey. Shush. <laughs> Shush. Yeah. Shush. Yeah, Shush. Uh, that really wasn't meant to be in character, but now it's too late. Yeah. I don't watch what you say, man. <laughs> so did Nomad hear this? Yes. Not this part, no. Oh, not, well, not, not, not me getting whisper shepherd at. Yeah, not, yeah. <laughs> no, I meant, did Nomad hear what he said about the dreaming thing? The first time, well, yes. Yes. And that's when he not, not what him. Keegan just said to him. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I before, forgot yeah. somebody was deafened and muted. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. We're trying to keep doing? secrets from the old man. He still thinks it's the war. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I think you wanted to look in the in the dirt, right? Uh, I think we should. I was thinking we should dig because somebody dropped. It sounded like someone was dropping the hint, but and maybe I'm off. I mean, Deary just said dig because that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> really? I think. But I mean, you can you can look in the, the dirt if you want. Yeah, you can get your 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 hippie elf hands dirty. I don't care. <laughs> you go dig in the dirt. It doesn't bother me. Go for it. Uh -huh. gonna, roll, gonna roll an investigation roll for me. Sure, why not? Hmm, yes, this dirt <laughs> appears to be dirt. Have we even even tried any one of the eight doors yet? No, nope, no, nope, you've not touched a door yet. Yeah, I'm gonna walk okay. up to the furthest door on the left. The furthest door on the left. Okay, hang on, I need to find Which my one? note on that door real quick. Uh, Can we, num we number them or something. They so are long? numbered. Uh, okay. No, they're not. Just kidding. That's not. <laughs> well, they're left, they're, they're left to right. Okay, they're left to right. Okay. Uh, so, so this is the upside down A. Oh, oh no, the first one's the blue. Yeah, the first is, is the blue. Order? Yeah, sorry. Okay. It's okay. it's the order except for that third. The one below is the first one. So okay. okay. So I, I walk up to that blue trident. Yeah. Uh, one second. I need. I need. I have too many tabs open. It's <laughs> my problem right now. Uh, uh. I need to figure what this does. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Give me a deck save. Ooh. Oh, fun! That sounds like a roguey thing to do. Alrighty. Give me. Mm -hmm. Did. It got awfully quiet. I was worried about oh, the roll? connection. Yeah, that was my deck okay. save. He got uh, a 22 post the, the, the die didn't roll for me. Okay, you got 22. Oh, okay. 22. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, just announce it because if I'm not tabbed in, it doesn't like show me the roll all the time. It doesn't let me like the. the oh, and also, also uh, the, the, the previous people had some setting where you actually see the die on the screen. I think the oh yeah 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 okay so uh, uh, Matt Elizabeth go to the top right gear in roll twenty, uh, it's in my settings, and then go to enable three D dice. Right on. Uh, that way they'll actually show up on screen. Cool. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so twenty two. So a you touch the door and a rope magically appears and tries to hoist you into the air. Uh, but it, but you dodge out of the way at the last minute. <laughs> I I like to imagine a cheap Star Trek kind of okay. thing where the door opens and somebody out, off camera just throws rope through the doorway, <laughs> just loose rope. <laughs> <laughs> whop whop whop. Okay. Good work, now, Spock. That, you okay, evaded now, the now, trap. So after I after I just like miss out of the way of this rope about to grab me. Uh, I look at everyone else and I say, does anyone want to try that with the colored handcuffs? With the colored, colored cuffs? Or oh, the, the things that we found? Yeah, mm. the cufflinks. Mm. I, I was asking right. if we want to try the blue on the blue. 
You did not find blue. We didn't find a blue. Oh, we but didn't I did find that. a blue. Well, let, let, let's try one of the colors we do have. <laughs> okay. Hold hold on, hold on. Uh, I have an idea that I'd like to to let you guys know about is that that, by, that spell that just happened on you, or that thing that just happened on you, was a snare. A snare spell. Which happens to be the spell scroll that was on number des the desktop number one. Okay. So we now have some sort of a clue of what the other doors would do. We just look through that list there. So for instance, number two probably is something to do with arms of Hadar. Hadar. Number three is probably what something that to do is. with Well, do I know what arms of Hadar are? I don't remember. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, vaguely. Okay, so what, what colors do we have for which doors? Yeah. They're in the same order. The, the, no, two is yellow, three is gray, four is pink, and that happens to be the same order that they are in the doors. Right, okay. and the color and the, the, the cufflinks you do have if that matters to you are yellow, uh, pink. Wait, hold on. I missed one. Sorry. Yellow, gray, gold, pink, right? and gold. Yes. And, Does, okay, yeah. so I'm going to do something else before we even get to that. Is mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to... What's the name of my spell? Hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to... Yeah, you all have all of your abilities, by the way. You can cast spells and do abilities and right. you can stab things, whatever you want to do. Like, that's <laughs> fine. Like, you, can, I, you can punch things, Yuri. <laughs> I would like to cast Identify. Okay. Um, on And touch the... Well, actually, do I have... Before I do that, hold on. Is that a cantrip? Hold on. You also have an Identify Spell Scroll. Right. I don't want to use that yet. Okay. okay. So I'm going to first of all uh, cast. Oh, hold on. Where'd it go? Yeah, I'm going to cast identify on the handcuffs that we have. <laughs> they're cufflinks. Uh, yeah, they're uh, sorry, handcuffs. <laughs> cufflinks. Sorry, the cufflinks. I was say, what? Matt said handcuffs one time, and now it's just. <laughs> Oh, did he? Man, did he? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I have no I idea why. Accidentally, I'm sorry. These, these are right? these are kink wizards. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> wizards of the real dungeon. <laughs> right, this is this is the dungeon you don't want to be in. <laughs> Welcome to the real dungeon, master. There's no okay. safe words here. <laughs> uh, safe on. words in a Cthulian wow. language you can't understand. <laughs> okay, hold on. I mean, no, apparently, I, I can do it on one object at a time. So let me do it on. Is it a cantrip? So you can use like to keep on no, doing it, or not. no? Okay. It's not. No. Okay. Oh wait, it's a, it's a ritual. Yeah, it's a ritual spell. Oh. So you, it takes you time though to do it. So you want yeah, a, ritual, a ritual is ten minutes. Casting time is one minute. If you cast as a spell, it's ten minutes. You cast as a ritual. Okay. Okay. Very good. <clears> so, <throat> so I'm gonna I'm not gonna use a spell slot for that just in case. And okay. If, can you guys hold on for like ten minutes while I while I? Well, it'll there, there's four of them. So that's forty minutes. <laughs> well, I want to do it to one of them. Okay, see, which see what I find okay. out. Okay, so uh, I kind of just on. feel like trying my luck on a new door. Let you me. Hey, hey, who who's got the yellow cuff? Uh, yellow goes really well with the navy shirt. I might add. Then again, oh, well, I'll just put them on my plate. shirt. Oh, oh, I thought he gave it to me. Sorry. Not currently. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> All right. DM said I still it. have it. I'm putting them on. I'm going through the yellow door. Yeah, walk okay. go go take a knock on the door. Okay. I'm gonna stand back here. <laughs> I'll oh be back my. here. <laughs> uh, you, just just so you know, uh, then again, that you could get really hurt if it goes wrong. I've been hurt worse already. Okay. Very good. <laughs> well, I guess I can't stop him. So remember who has the high score for deaths in this party. Ooh. I know. Okay, where is everybody currently standing? Uh oh, do we have do we have to get a hex out? Keegan mentioned he is. No, we we don't need to get a map on this. I'm just trying to get a general picture for where, where everybody's doing. Uh, Keegan mentioned he's standing back intentionally uh, while this happens. Yep. Nomad, what are you currently doing? I, I was in the uh, um, the, the just garden. Just because I suggested it doesn't mean it's gonna work. <laughs> okay, uh, you're in the garden. But if already... it does, you'll sound smart. <clears throat> Lilith, right. where are you at? Are you in yeah, the... Yeah, she backs away. She's going to follow suit and back okay. up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so everybody's going to gonna bounce out of there. Finnegan runs into the 
Um, <laughs> give me a strength saving throw. Oh! I'm really glad <laughs> Wait, it's I a saving throw. Does that mean? Does it? Doesn't save it? No, that's a contest. We already had this conversation. Yep, it's listed as uh, saving throw as the top left. Yeah. Oh well, that's not bad at all. What's your number. That's my 17? number. Seventeen. Okay. No, not okay. twenty-two. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. That's fine. I um, have no strength modifier. All right. Not without a couple of uh, items that help me put dents in certain people. Okay, so you were wearing you were oh, wearing not at all. wearing the handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Is that what you were doing? I was wearing yeah. I was wearing the, the, cufflinks. The, the, cufflinks. the cufflinks on my and on my to... navy long sleeve shirt. I'm a fashion man right now. Just to be uh, clarify, which door did you go into? The one with the yellow upside down A thing on it. Okay. So the yellow sure? one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you I take hope. two points of necrotic damage. Oh. Um, as dark tendrils shoot out of the door, oh, uh, in a giant ten foot radius around you. Uh, and it's a good thing that no one else was there because they they would have hit hit two for sure. You, you said two hit points. Yeah, two hit points. Oh no. Uh, I rolled a one and a two though. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It could have been worse. Uh -huh. So I. Guys, guys, please stop! You're going to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, you just you just hear like Finnegan run at a door, and then okay, you just no, kill, no, no, just, just like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, just, we had we we had one the, shot. The sound it, of a it, water it, balloon. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my suggestion is that that we that well actually let me cast my let me cast my spell on mm -hmm. the. Mm -hmm, Not the cufflinks, mm -hmm. but the spell scrolls that you hey, have. If the door's oh, open, can okay. I go in now, or did it close? It didn't open. You touched the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's happened. Yeah. You didn't even get to open. Uh, it shoots you back. And Man, these doors suck. You tendrils. can't even open them. <laughs> Terrible design. <laughs> I'm wearing gloves. I didn't even touch it. Uh, I know. It doesn't matter. Just say it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Right. Sorry. Is there, uh, is, there, is there gravel on the ground? Uh, there's a little bit, yeah. I'm gonna pick okay. up a rock and throw it out of the door. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, which door? Uh, we're gonna go with the one right next to the yellow door. Excuse me, sir, I'm right one. here! Or the uh, third one. Third one is the, at the gray door? Okay. I'm assuming you stepped away from the tentacle door you, at this point. You assume a lot on how good I am at <laughs> thinking things through. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll uh, take a step on. away. So you're just constantly standing and dodging tent. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past me to do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yes, I, I will get away from the door that's actively attacking me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Do you, uh, you throw a stone at the third door, and it flashes, uh, and there's, like, a little, like, beam that shoots out of, like, the door and, like, scans the pebble, and that's it. Whoa, laser defense system. Okay, so I'm going to take another rock and throw it at the next door. <laughs> I'm okay. just going to throw a rock Science. at every door. <laughs> okay. Oh. Can I be doing something while they're doing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. As just things erupt from each door. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Please, we'll leave. All right, so I'm casting... I want to cast Identify and touch the... Hold on, where's the list again? So, the, so I'm just assuming every door six. does something. Yes, everyone does something. The, the fourth door uh, shouts at okay. you, which is weird. It just says, back up! <laughs> Don't do number five. Do not do number five, please, please. Five, um, yeah, five no. shoots a bunch of missiles at you, but they're not close enough Wait. to hit you. Wait, so four just yells at you not to come any closer? Yeah, and but it you physically cannot move closer oh, after okay. it to do that. Yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say. I just walked through the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna. I'm, well, I'm, I'm I plugged used my to ears and walked through the door. <laughs> while Maggie doing granny. That, yeah, yeah. While they're doing that, I'm casting my spell on spell number. Scroll. Like I'm on, used to fighting voices in my head. I think I can handle six, a door. Which is uh, minor, the minor, minor illusion. illusion one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need to read this. Your identify spell real quick. Um, I mean, you learned that. Hey, look at that. It, it's uh, a minor illusion spell scroll. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. And okay. yes, it is. It's not a lie. Um, it doesn't require a two minute to use. Uh, oh, is it just what it says? I mean, is that. It what? is what it says, but it has infinite charges. Um, okay. Which is weird because that's not how spell scrolls work, but apparently it does. 
Um, uh, dang it, I, and, I'm not immune to illusion magic right now. This is... Oh! <laughs> yeah. And if it was created by a spell... It was created by a spell, yes. It was created by the minor illusion spell, and created... Okay, uh, let's see. It's probably how to use it. I mean, also, you know how to cast it. I mean, if that if you didn't before, you know how to cast it correctly, mm-hmm. so you, you're safe okay. to cast. Um, okay, okay. And... Another, any spells that are affecting the item. There's also, I'll, I'll just give you a. It's not really part of this official spell per se, but there is a definitive link between this and the other room. You're not in the other room. You can't see where it goes, mm-hmm. but there's like a little yeah. like a little like okay. tether, basically. Okay, so I certainly understand. I mean, I can tell you what's going to happen when you shoot a rock at any one of these eight spells or any one of these eight doors in. I mean, not exactly what will happen, but approximately what would happen. All right. Like the magic Some missile BS, spell. Like the magic, number five, it shoots out magic missiles, because that's what number five says it, it does. No, I don't know, like, Goodberry. Goodberry is a good thing. So I'm not sure. Is it going to shoot out some good berries at you? I'm not really sure. <laughs> like, why don't you, throw why don't you shoot? Eight? Yeah, and show, throw movie. rocket eight and stand back, but I don't think it's going to do anything bad. Are, are you who's doing that? I'm throwing a rocket eight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, hang on. You roll a ten. Science. One. Oh. <laughs> One little berry shoots out of the door and just like lands in your hand. Uh, <laughs> what good aim? Can, can I? Can I have the berry? <laughs> Keegan looks at the berry. Looks at the gnome. <laughs> it's his first time ever eating anything. Let him have it. <laughs> Fine. And he hands him the very. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just gonna pocket it. But oh, okay. You're no. not even gonna. Okay. No. no. Okay. Now. Okay. So. <laughs> I'll steal that shit back, dude. Okay. So we have. So we have a problem that each, each one of these, each one of these doors does what the spells, what these spells are supposed to do, and some of them are very bad. Like, do not stand in front of Magic Missile or Toll the Dead or... Toll of the Dead, arm, okay. Arms of Hadar or Snare. All of those could be really bad. How oddly fitting that I brag about having died the most and then I hit Toll of the Dead. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> now, um, do we want to get out of these doors or is there something else we should be doing? What an um, excellent question. I don't question. know how to get out. Um, we might be able to get out of... I don't know. Say, You're the one who recognizes this place. Yeah. You're in charge, bud. Yeah, great. Ask the person who has no memory at all. <laughs> well, we're I mean, all in the same help, boat, then, aren't we? <laughs> I don't know what he, I don't know what to do here. Okay, so who wants to be brave and actually open up the door? The door number eight. I'll raise my hand again. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Give it a shot. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then again, you walk over and uh, you get hit in the face by six berries. <laughs> A whole and the door doesn't open. Oh, it doesn't open, though. It doesn't open. Well, I have a mask on, so who wants these berries? <laughs> I'm picking them up unless somebody fights me for them. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't tempt me. Uh, okay. Truthfully, they... Well, we'll talk about it later. Um, <laughs> I'm just... Actually, I'm going to hand them off to Lilith. Okay. That's, that's, that's rude. Sweet. Yeah. Sorry. To the druid. I don't know her name. Druid right. is Lilith. Okay. No, he oh, doesn't. I don't, he doesn't remember don't, your no name. No man doesn't know your name. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess. Right. We right. introduced each other. Um, kind of shrugs, and then. Hang on to these. They're they're valuable. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat. Don't eat them now. You eat sound, them if you're. You sound like an old crazy man just handing out random crap on the street. <laughs> just like right. the worst gift ever. Thank you for these nasty old. <laughs> You know, Magically like conjured. Conjured. All right. these, these berries flew out of a door. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want hard they, candy from, from this nasty. jar. <laughs> okay, so it's like um, trick or treat, but like a whole yeah. new level. Okay, who wants who wants to be <laughs> who wants to be daring this time? How about you, Lilith? Yeah, I kind of. I mean, I'm kind of, did we do anything with the blue door, the very first one? Or we didn't because uh, it's like yes, a snare spell. That was the snare. Right. Yeah, that's where he dodged out of the way of the snare. Oh, right, the right, identify right, right, right. is not dangerous, so if you want to try number three, you could. You're going to get identified. Sure. Be yeah. careful. Hey, who 
has snare spell scroll? I do. Uh, I no one had all of them. He he he, he hoarded all of eight. Trolls. I hoarded them all. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have the the snare? Sure. If, um, but just be as long as you don't throw it at me. You're not gonna eat I'm it, are you? I'm not gonna throw it at anyone. Just give me the okay. snare scroll. Okay. There you go. Thank I'll you. The... You might want to try it with an easier one though, like identify. <laughs> No, 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 we'll start with this one. Lilith, okay. you want to go ahead and try and open the door? <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> I'm kind of curious because I feel like it's going to be like a giant mollusk behind that door with the Triton. So, sure. No, I, Wait, want, I want one more one? person to try before I try my idea. Oh, sure, I'll try the door. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to try the number one door. Are you going to walk up and just touch it? We haven't done that yet, have we? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Number one, um, we have done. Yeah, oh, and he almost I got hung. That, then? What an excellent question. I don't know. Do it any want door be, you want. If you want to be daring, do number three. I'll do, do, num I'll do number three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's okay. not going to hurt you, I don't think. <laughs> okay. So uh, <laughs> you walk up to the third door and you touch it and this beam shoots out of it again. Uh, yeah. And it, it's, it scans you. And it feels really uncomfortable. Like it's like going to like like the airport, but like now you just feel like naked and just like I don't. Uh, I feel so very just invasive. Like the airport, yeah, yeah. It's like, it feels very. All it right. feels very invasive. Uh, and then like on the door, like you can see that it pops up like your name, uh, oh. and like a bunch of other information oh. about yourself, which you probably like cover. <laughs> uh, Nobody look. Her, her favorite food Nobody's is all. good berries. But I do know her name now. That's she yes. loves gnomes. <laughs> she loves gnomes. <laughs> In a Most, stew. Mostly oh, cocaine. no. <laughs> no, that would be meat. Yeah, that's true. Right, Act right. Actually, it'd just be rocks and water. All right. So, okay, so I'm going to... Oh, it's 10 o'clock already. I was mm -hmm. going to run up and go to the identified door and try to open it myself. Okay, that's the same thing. Um, you never know. Keegan, okay. Keegan is going to hold up the... Spe the snare scroll at the mm -hmm. snare door okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and cast the spell at the door yeah yeah uh <laughs> you're not a caster but you're gonna try anyway right yeah uh, why not <laughs> why not yeah yeah okay so yeah you you point this this like scroll at the door what's going on. and you're just like i read some words and i just like shake the scroll at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. snare throw and, rope. and a rope shoots out of the scroll and hits the door and it goes <laughs> Oh, it worked! Oh, maybe it did work. Oh. Hey, what's up? Not so dumb now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the rogue figured out the magic puzzle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, and okay, I walked so through the door. Give the gnome okay. a chance. He's only been alive for like an hour. So, Keegan, you open the door. D doesn't do anything bad to you. You walk through the door, and you're back in the main lobby. Lobby? Isn't that where we started? What lobby? Yes. Well, the, lobby? you're back in the, the garden area. You just went back in a circle. <laughs> Wait, oh, so great. now behind yeah, them? Yeah, now who's yes, smart? Hmm. Now behind them, yes. Oh. Man, who's real oh, smart? Oh, well, this just got real easy. <laughs> Let's open all the doors and see what happens. <laughs> what are you okay, doing? Okay, sure. Um, okay, yeah, so I got all the scrolls. I'm just going to... Mm -hmm. Let me try number three because it might be different for me versus somebody else. Somebody's big on number three. <laughs> okay. Well, it's safe. Mm -hmm. All right. All right so so I, you're going to you can cast identify scroll yeah, on yeah. the number three door. Okay. You identify yeah, yeah. it. It's a door. It, it makes a, it makes a similar sound of it, it kind of like powering down. Mm -hmm. uh, now what? I walk through it. Yeah, you open the door uh, mm -hmm. and you don't teleport back the way uh, Keegan did. Oh, you get it because um, snare keeps you in a location, so the door is gonna keep you here. <laughs> no, I think it's to do with me. Hey, oh. and I shout back to the other to everybody else. Come on, try to come through the door. Yeah. So, go ahead. Go ahead. Keegan follows. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and Lilith, Lilith Mundo, goes good. through it. Okay. Yeah. So you guys all pile through the door. Uh, so you walk through this divination door, uh, which you now recognize, and you enter a large circular room with. It's a lot of circles in this this place, uh, and it has a <sighs> giant table with eight seats at it. Uh, a small man sits stands with his back to you at the end of the room, looking out the window. 
outside is a swirling vortex of stars crashing into one another. Oh, um, so you can tell that you're not really in a normal space. We're uh, in regular space. With <clears throat> and, and then without turning to you at all, um, he's standing kind of with his, uh, his hands clasped behind his back. Uh, he speaks to you. Uh, which which is, you? Well, collective you. You're all together. Oh, okay. So he, he's, he's not looking at you, so you can't, like, point at somebody, right? Like, sure. Stop <laughs> he's addressing the room. Uh, and <clears throat> I... Oh, man, the accents are so difficult for me sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just say what he says. Uh, he says... Uh, we could have been so much more, you know, Nomad, if you had stayed. Imagine the research we could have done together, the oh. knowledge and the power we could have achieved together. Keegan Instead, fires his crossbow at him. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, oh, my god. To be gosh. fair, I was this close to running up and punching him in the mouth myself. Um, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a attack roll. Uh-oh. Oh my. Uh, hang on. Plus, uh, no. Is your character's full Where's name Keegan name? Michael Key? No, it's just Keegan K. Ah, oh. <laughs> close enough though. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I have the vi ver vi I'm Where's turning off this freaking virtual D20 crap. <laughs> <laughs> you can Why? just right click and it goes away. Yeah, or left click actually it'll go away. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, I thought. Yeah. <clears throat> All anyway. right, so ten. Yeah. So, uh. I don't he... think I hit him. <laughs> no. Damn. Uh, he, without even turning around, he just catches the bolt in the air. Oh! Uh, Dude, you just got And blue. just goes, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> and he continues without even, like, <laughs> making a stride. Wow, you, uh, you, really, you really showed him, dude. <laughs> and I shoot him again. <laughs> Jesus. <Jeez, laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, give me a attack he roll. He only has two God hands. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so he just well, laughs. Okay. He just laughs at you. Does, does I, someone else want to like help I have, me out here? I have no so, ranged attacks. Uh, he 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 finally turns around, and he looks at you guys, uh, and he does he have any distinguishing features? Yes. Uh, oh. When he turns around, uh, you notice something very particular about him. Especially you, knew, you know, Mad. You notice something about him in that he's you. Uh, only he, he, he's nomad. He's nomad. Only he doesn't look like you do currently. And uh, I want to shoot him again. <laughs> hold on, I'm describing him. <laughs> Calm down. It's a bean. Uh, this version of you, nomad, is somehow taller, which is weird. Um, then he has eyes that glow with fiery power, and he's wearing a full gray robe. Your mom glows, glows with fiery floor. power. It's he's true. He's a real boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he has a long nose. <laughs> uh, his red hat has been dyed gray as well to match his robe, and his very and the beard, I might add. crackles with energy. Well, his beard's already gray, so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, and uh, he he says, "You know what you must do. You must free me once again, and you won't regret it. We can do so <clears throat> much together." No, these people you've collected with you mean nothing. They are pawns in someone else's game. They yeah, cannot I know help that. you become what you are. They will abandon you, and they will leave you to die. And they will stab you in the back. I have foreseen it. <laughs> Keegan, Mike. Nomad. <laughs> Nomad. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. What he no. says is not true. Well, I do not do I know, know you personally, but these friends will not leave you. <laughs> what friends? <laughs> wow. Okay. Thanks. I don't remember the right. I don't remember them. Right. He's got a point. He has no memory I, of us specifically no, at this moment. You you get a little tingle 
You get a little tingle, a little, little gnome tingle. Dude, if anyone has a tingle while they're looking at me, what's I'm gonna my, punch what's them. What's my tingles telling me? The tingles telling you that you, you remember. <laughs> Uh, your tingle tells you that, uh, you, you know these people, um, You must not listen <laughs> to him. <laughs> Are you trying to use, like, a mind meld on me or something here? Or mind tricks? Jedi mind tricks? <laughs> I'd say more he's trying to do that than we are. So, he walks over to you guys, um... Wait, wait, you said... I, I'm feeling something. I'm feeling like warm fuzzies or something, or what am I feeling? The only person you've known before like 10 minutes ago is me. Yeah, okay. recognition. recognition. Of and the I'm friend. scary, dude. Of them, yes. Okay. I'm a frightening person. Um, but you can tell just from his aura that this is a high level, mm -hmm. like high class divination wizard. Uh -huh. So, like, he knows like the past, the present, and the future, basically. Uh, so, while you feel you have a connection to these people, you also understand that this man might actually know something as well. I need to version look up, of you. I need to look up an item real quick. Vibes from him in terms of his his evilness or goodness or whatever. Uh, he doesn't he doesn't seem super friendly. No. Uh, uh I mean he's. I did say his eyes glow with fiery power, so there's that. Mm -hmm. um, well, power can be good, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not, yeah, it's... Yeah, last time I had a, power, I punched Weaver and almost killed him. It's a definitely a distinctive darkness, but there's definitely strong... There's definitely strength behind it, um, for sure. Um, and so so you, Darkness, you said? Uh, yeah, there's some darkness me. there. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Um, and then he, he walks over to you guys across the room. Um, and he begins to speak again to you, Nomad, um, but then his eyes dart over Keegan, like, really just taking him in for the first Keegan time. Really, with a crossbow he, in his he hand. He didn't really, he didn't really care about you before. You'd shot him several times, but he didn't really care. He caught it with ease. Um, but the reason he, he does a double take of you is because he looks at your shoulder and he notices something there. Um, he's not going to see and, this fist! <laughs> uh, okay, you and... can't. I'm, Keegan isn't actually saying this, but please do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Where's uh, and... I lost my tab? There it is. I don't think you're gonna want to mess with this guy. But it's, it's a... we've no, already started this. Also, I have a, a hist just because I'm not currently inclined towards it doesn't mean I don't have a history of this sort of thing. You mm -hmm. don't. Yeah, you don't have. Yeah, you're not. You're not Andy's toy here today, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you have. <laughs> it's all I know, Trevor. I know. I, I know. got a twelve. What are you doing? A punch. You're, do you're gonna punch him? Yeah, that's <laughs> all I do, dude. Have you? Yeah, met yeah. Me? Okay. Hold on. I gotta find you know, twelve. No, nah. He just like Neo <laughs> Matrix dodges out of the way. Uh, well, no jokes problem. on him. I can do it twice in a turn. But and he he didn't think. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nineteen that time. You're not in combat. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> Got one. I'm gonna roll initiative in a minute here if, if you don't stop. <laughs> well, it's, it's, uh, fine. Just, I had two fists. I threw both of them. We're good. Uh, okay. Uh, so he he looks over over at your shoulder, Keegan. Uh, and uh, nice tattoo. <laughs> he recoils like his his steady oh. calm and like perfect composure <laughs> is just shattered in an instant. Uh, and he hisses. Uh, oh, because that's slightly. that's a very dignified thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> and he just asks, "What have you done? Uh, how is that here?" And uh, I don't know, man. He's just following me. Or... <laughs> man, I don't know. I just he's here, dude. And uh, Nomad, for the first time, you see on Keegan's shoulder a glowing parrot. Uh, and the parrot turns to you and winks. And then it turns to the other nomad and it speaks and it says, Tick tock, devil sucker! And roll initiative. <laughs> uh, what's this? We're rolling initiative now? Combat. Yes. 
Um, you, you, you I know. See the time. Okay. I do. I'm gonna take initiative, and then we're gonna bounce. Uh, <laughs> All right. So. Pow. Um, Ooh. I'm gonna get it written down for next time. Um, Elizabeth oh, wow. might not know what you're talking about. Uh, roll a d20 and add your initiative bonus, oh, which is on I, the I main forgot my page. I forgot my initiative bonus. I didn't. I got 11 post mod. I'm. I guess I'm Hold not helping on. out. Initiative. That's 19. 20, 20. Uh, technically, that's 22 for me. <laughs> okay, so that's Keegan's a 22. Uh, read them off to me. I don't have. I can't tab over easily. I got a 22. Also, a natural the, 20. The masked one is 11. Okay, so you go before me. Is that right? Yeah. You got a critical, yeah. Do, uh, okay. do you need me to roll also? Yes. yes. Uh, I'm looking for the initiative, and I don't see Main it. On your main it's, sheet, uh, it's below your proficiency bonus. It's uh, top, next to your armor class. It's right next to the uh, shield. Where is yeah. Right. I am looking for this. At okay, the top so of the... Your, your character yeah. sheet has that roll numbers at the top, but it's the next row down. There's That's your initiative. It's plus two. to help you find oh. it easier. You found it? Thank you. Yeah, but so, just so you know where it is in the future, right? <clears throat> so it's a d20 plus two. Okay. I can also show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I would have sent a screen cap, but I'm not supposed to be sending my character page to people. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Right, so yeah, that's okay. A, How many sets do I do? Just you, one. You throw one d20, yeah. So it's plus. So it's a it's eleven. Okay. So uh, just so you know, that's something that that. The DM is going to be asking quite a bit is to roll initiative. Yeah. And that sets the order of when we. Who, who how, you, how you do stuff. Uh, degree, what'd you get? I got an 11. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get a good what's, one. What's your dex? My dexterity? What's your dex bonus? I was 11 right, post mod. So I know. Oh. He's 8 plus 3. Plus, th plus 3. Okay. Because you and Lil have, have the same initiative. Oh. We have a 22, 22, and 11, 11, which is weird. Uh, yeah, very weird. That's <laughs> super weird. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll my initiative real quick. Ta da! Uh, and let's see. Uh, Just you know, I'm very confused. <laughs> it's yeah, that's okay. Uh, is everybody else confused, or am I the only one? That's what I'm trying to. Keegan is not. <laughs> Keegan's very not confused. You know the I I okay. am, but I'm not gonna admit. Okay. Parrot, of course wait, he's not confused. Wait, wait. <laughs> Keegan yeah. isn't confused. That doesn't mean he's not annoyed. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't know what's going on, but I know my place in things, and it involves punching. <laughs> it's all I've known. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna leave it up for the night. Uh, we will take this deck up with, with just straight on combat. Uh, next time around, and then we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, good job. You figured out the. You've solved my riddle. <laughs> it only took us yeah, I threw minutes. a snare trap at a snare door. Yep. <laughs> hey, we got two hours, man. I was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, gets... I get you. I get you. Yeah, yeah. I think it's funny though, because like, no, Pop, you, you, you basically said what to do. I don't know, 40 minutes ago? And then you didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean take this, the, the, um, the match. You knew scrolls. which door and you knew what to do with the oh, scrolls. I couldn't interrupt. Everybody was so excited about what they were doing. I couldn't interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and, and the other thing that threw me though, was that, um, when I did the identify, it didn't, I would have thought it would have told me more specifically. Uh, nope. It, yeah. All it said there was a link, but it didn't really say what the link was. So that's. I it said was. it went into the other room. You didn't follow it, so yeah. <laughs> right, it was anyway. a trail of another room. I yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I can be so forthcoming with information here. Uh, By the way, you guys, Trevor and I think very, very differently, and so yeah. <laughs> we don't ever think because he's he's hinting at something. I'm gonna get it because almost I almost always assume the opposite. <laughs> it's been that way since literally day one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> Lots of fun. This is fun. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, sorry if it was too complicated. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry if some of you didn't have much to do this time around. It's kind of a. It's, this was a nomad centric thing, uh, but which it frequently is sometimes. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, that's twice also, now, isn't it? Yeah. But also introducing like two new players. 
Yeah, I had a lot to do. Also, uh, I'm introducing this specific. Well, I can't even. I can't even bring it up because you didn't finish it. So yeah. you'll find out next session. Sucker. What key mechanic could be introduced at the end of this? Uh, so there's a lot to factor in here. But yeah. Uh, so sorry, Lily didn't have a lot to do. Uh, <laughs> this is also like a a quiz, basically, for the the casters of the group, <laughs> which is or you're, more you're specifically the rogue. Yeah, and the rogue figured out, which is funny. Uh, he's, 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 an ex, he's an ex-caster, right? You have, to, you have to steal the gnome hat now. Just wear it. <laughs> he can wear the gnome hat. So, Goal my question accepted. is, uh, now that you've, you've finished the puzzle, did you figure out that each of those is the magic? No. You cut each out? Of the Wait, you yeah. were cutting out. Oh, sorry. I said, did you figure yeah. out that each of those symbols is a different school of magic? I guessed as much, yeah. When you said okay. divination, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought that actually it said on the... No, I guess it didn't actually say. Okay. I... Okay. Is it... <laughs> I, don't I, I don't think they... I don't think any people who aren't familiar with the wizard schools would have recognized it. But, so if you right? pull up d d Beyond real quick um, and hover over the word game rules, yeah. uh, let me know what you see there. Can someone read it aloud to me? Oh, you're not there, right? <laughs> <laughs> and y'all okay. have D&D Beyond up the entire time you're playing. Uh, right, and under spells, there's a list of five, uh, ten, eight. Is it ten, eight, okay, eight different schools. And it has all of the symbols. Oh, and this is yeah, stuff everybody's right supposed to know, right? Oh, I didn't recognize, I, I kind of recognize the symbols, but only slightly. Yep. To be fair, he just... was just put into existence yeah yeah that's fine no yeah, it's funny <laughs> it's totally fine it is a fairly it was a somewhat complicated thing uh but also there were eight of them i probably should have done like three it would have been simpler <laughs> but look just next time next time you want to get pop in like a stupor just get him drunk in real life <laughs> <laughs> that's it's probably literally impossible uh <laughs> just he's a couple hours away from me <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, specifics aren't important here. <laughs> so, well, see, see, this is my my problem here. Is I'm, this is the stuff that goes through my head. Is what is Trevor thinking? Is this somebody that if we destroy him, I'm gonna die because he looks like me? You know, all these things go through my head, and Trevor's not even thinking of the same things I am. So I'm just mm -hmm. like, okay, so I just got to think the opposite of what I would normally think. You're just, no, you really are. Fine. You it's really fine. are an OCD little gnome. <laughs> yeah, I'm just oh, overthinking yeah. everything. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it right. makes it interesting though. It makes it it makes it so that you don't always instantly find the solution to things. It's funny. <laughs> you're 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 one of the dissenters. <laughs> like they'll like, oh, this is what we're doing. You're like, nah. <laughs> nah, dude. <Lucy. laughs> well, mm -hmm. I knew that just touching the doorknob was not going to be a good idea. Yeah, it's generally not not a good but plan. But they had to do it. You know, yeah. and I knew there was a connection. I mean, I immediately knew the connection between the the tables and the and and the door. Yeah. But I didn't know if it was the cufflinks. I still don't know what the cufflinks do. I don't know, but I got um, me a, a nice pair of yellow to match my navy. The cufflinks identified which color went to which yeah. station, and that was yeah. It. I was, that's what I was guessing. That's all it was. So yeah, they're yeah. <laughs> they're literally useless. Uh, it's I'm also keeping mine, interesting. Though. Screw you guys. Also, I would point I out. I figured it out more through trial and error. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, Finnegan, yeah uh, Keegan, you figured it out. Like, Throw some rocks the, at it. The, like, the, I don't think, like, the correct way, like the actual like puzzle way. Whereas Nomad should have figured this out as soon as he saw the door. Because we've been talking about which school of magic he's going to be all week long. <laughs> <laughs> and it's divination. Uh. <laughs> And they should have picked the divination door. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I know Ed wouldn't know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just saying. It's okay though. It's okay. It's it's it. it no one else got caught on either that like the divination was the one that was missing either. So it's you know. Uh, it's oh, that means I'm wearing div totally divin fine. Div divination. Well, I caught that there was a divination. missing one. Yeah. <coughs> but I didn't yeah, know what it was. Yeah, you mentioned that the divination door was missing early on, but then yeah. we didn't, didn't do anything with it. It's okay. Like, that's, it's, just, it's funny. 
It's always funny being DM and you're just like... That means oh, I'm okay. wearing divination cuff links. Mm. Well, see, well, see, the thing is we had multiple bits of information. Yeah. Like, Keegan went through the first door and he ended up where he was. Well, I was going to go through the first door and see if I did the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't sure if it was person-related or if it was door-related. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so those yeah, are, yeah, yeah, that's true. All those different ideas, you know, so you just try <laughs> out one at a time. I'm going to wear the yeah, divination cuffs and I'm going to go, I can see your future and punch him in the mouth. <laughs> hey, I'm just glad that no one got seriously hurt. <laughs> oh, I know. Like, for, the, uh, <laughs> for the first magic time. Magic missiles or the, well, the, the necromancy the, spell. <laughs> the Arms of Hadar is an AOE spell that's 10 foot radius. Everyone in the area. Yeah. So, like... It's, it's a lot of damage. I kept trying to tell everybody, don't do that. <laughs> notice, <laughs> notice why I took a, notice why I was like, I'm gonna step back from this one. But you guys were not listening, and I kept saying, I want to cast this, and you're like, no, you're Look, gonna do your thing. I spent most forceful. of my life listening to another small voice. I don't need to listen to yours too right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> another small voice. All right, I'm gonna uh, go, guys. Um, yep. Yeah, oh, whistly, sing-songy kind of voice. You, you, new people. <laughs> you new people, you. You new people. <laughs> That's yeah, all Bird you should are be back. You, Bird should be back next week. Uh, so, right, we uh, so we got to yeah. wrap this up. Yeah. Wrap this up. I'm not sure how, but okay. Oh, we don't have Marcus to, I help, to help hurt us. <laughs> <laughs> help hurt you. <laughs> I, I assume we have to kill the old man and we'll be done. I don't know. Well, he, maybe, of, course, maybe. of course you're not going to answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's rough not being able to participate in conversations. <laughs> Anything I say is potentially just like a deal breaker, and just like oh uh, oh crap, I said something wrong. Uh oh, he means like yeah okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, sorry Matt that this was not as polished as because uh, you just came from descended to avarice. Uh, oh, did. I'll happily tell you all about that at work tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Matt is... from, 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 there's a new campaign that just got released, like a new official campaign, like a D&D &D one. Mm. Uh, I, I, like one of their books got released, and he just started one yesterday with Logan, uh, our other DM. Uh, they started playing. So like that's an, like, an actual, like legit fleshed-out game. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, uh, let's call it that. They actually <laughs> oh, have okay. some... They actually have, like... Things you can read about the 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 the, um, the environment and stuff. So yeah, yeah. It's a. I mean, up. it's a. Yeah, it's a. It's a. I see. I have. A, it's like a giant book you read, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So it's a. It's a pre. It's a pre-made world. Uh, mm -hmm. Whereas what we're doing is all homebrew, so it's all like all right. kind of just make it up as you go. Uh, yeah. So sorry, man. If it wasn't. It. No, I pers I personally like homebrew better. It's more entertaining. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Man, you should have been there right, when we beat the slot out of a dinosaur. Right, guys. Bye -bye. Adios. Have a, have a good night. <laughs> good night. All right. See y'all.